Welcome to Auckland City, the biggest Polynesian city in the world. And it is the Oceania Cup 2019. It's Mate Tonga up against the New Zealand Kiwis. Mount Smart Stadium, Te Paorana Tonga is awash with a sea of red as the Tongan community have come out in great numbers to make this a spectacle to remember. Malulale, the Tongan welcome, Kia ora rawatu, and welcome to Te Paorana Tonga. Mihi o te tauho Māori, it is winter solstice and it is Matariki, the start of the Māori New Year. A warm welcome to you wherever you are, across New Zealand and across the world. But one thing is for sure, the Tongan community have come out in great numbers to support their team. The show of pride and patriotism unsurmounted, and it's going to be one heck of a clash here tonight. Looking forward to this one, and I hope you are too, as we get a look at this Tongan team. And there's the coach there, Christian Wolf, stacked full of talent, all within RL experience. And of course, Jason Domalolo, well, we know what he means to this team. A few new names in there. Solomon Ekata, Daniel Tupo, the list goes on. Back from England, Toi Moala Lolo here, and debuting with Johnny Asiata. Into the front row, and Toke Aho lines up with Adam Fanua Blake, and Saliva Harvili playing great ball for the Canberra Raiders looking on top form as well to be the Pangai Junior, Mao and of course Tomololo, the bench today, Fainu, Penny Telepo and of course a couple of other top guns in there as well Satili Tuponua and Junior Tatalua, well it's just all set up and what a game we are waiting for here culture, clashes big and tough as we go into the Kiwi dressing room Tuivasa Shek, Watane Zelezniak, Kenny Maumalo, and top form for the Warriors. We go through Iksan Masters and Joseph Manu, two gun centers really on the top of their game. Benji Marshall back after hiatus and very proud to be in the black and white. And Sean Johnson's back to where he has played some magnificent football. Everyone's looking forward to seeing Smith, Bromwich, Wario Hargraves, gutsy front rowers, and into the back. We see Bromwich with Nick Corder on debut and Isaac Liu, a model of consistency. Their bench today. Jarome Hughes, born in Wellington. Great to have him back. Leeson Armo as well with James Fisher Harris, a tackling dynamo, and big Nelson Asufa Solomona. It's great to have you here today as we see the traditional Maori welcome as we celebrate this wonderful event here at the home of rugby league at Auckland, New Zealand. Tonga let out by Jason Domalolo. What a popular figure he is on both sides of the Tasman and around the world. With us today, DJ Halligan, and also on the side today, Monty Beatham and Daryl. It's just wonderful. The spectacle here is just a reminder of the of what role sport plays in our community. It certainly does, doesn't it? The colours are just amazing. Tonga set the International Rugby League world alight in 2017 with that match against the Kiwis in Hamilton and backed it up in a semi-final against England here at Mount Smart. This is exactly the same, Dale. Well, if you had butterflies up here, it would be double down on the sideline. Monty Beatham's with us today. Monty, your thoughts? Well, I can tell you what, it's not as cold as I thought it would be, but I tell you what, the crowd has come out in force, the red seat, the flags, a little bit of singing, not as much as we've seen in the past, but there's nothing like the experience of the red seat. I tell you what, they are very big, strong men who look to be in the zone, who just walked past me, led by that man, Damalolo. 
What a shot the arm they have been to International Rugby League. The imagery still alive from the 2017 World Cup. The games against Australia and, of course, uh, against the English squad as well. And here we go into the dressing rooms. Ton of experience here, DJ. And really, they come into the game as favourites, the home team. But sometimes you've got to question whose home it is when you look around the stadium. Yeah, for sure, Dale. And the Kiwis, it's a battle up front that they won't want to miss. When you have the likes of a Sofa Solomona, a Bromwich, a Hargraves, I don't think they'll lose a physical battle, even though the Tongan starting pack, well, it basically averages 110 to 115 kilos per person. They are big men. Takiaho, Taumalolo, Fanua Blake in for Andrew Fafita. Junior Totola on the bench, a monster as well. Dylan Martin as the Lesniak will lead out the Kiwi squad as skipper here as well. The great grandson, the first Māori captain of the Kiwis, Steve Wartanet. What a proud moment it is for him to retain the captain, the sound of Coach Maguire. Of course, they've got plenty of experience in there as well. And the man right behind him there, Benji Marshall, at age 34. A remarkable story and uh, one of resilience. He's had a few knockbacks in his career, but he's come good again. And you've been in camp with the Kiwis this week. The pride he feels to wear the black and white jersey undeniable. And he's been brilliant in camp, Benji Marshall. Dylan, who leads and is captain here today from the wing. But the guys running the cutter will be Marshall and Johnson. There's big Jared Wadia Hargraves makes his return. Roger Tuivasa Sheck, one of the very best and most consistent. The Oceania Trophy, breathing new life into the international game. And our young people across the country really taken in by this spectacle and the drama that will unfold. Jesse Bromwich, hugely experienced from Waiheke Island, the first, I guess, in a black and white jersey, Brandon Smith. And Sean Johnson makes his return to the stadium. Many say there's not much between these two teams, the New Zealand and Tongan sides. New Zealand have a little bit of the edge in terms of experience. Ten of their players have played in grand finals, including seven that played in last year's grand final. It's hard Stop to miss. Solomona and Ken Mamalo, cousins, of course. Bigger Sofa from the Hutt Valley, down in our capital. He's sworn his allegiance to the black and white Ladies jersey. And There's a bit, been a bit of movement around, but he says, I'm a Kiwi for life. It's time for the national anthems. National in preparation for kickoff. Is everyone in the stadium Resonate. to their feet?
Oh yeah, what a way to start it off too. Emotions running high, even hitting up here in the commentary booth, DJ. I'll tell you what, it means a great deal to these men. Nice to see Benji Marshall show some emotion. He has had a superb week in camp, given the keys to this machine. Now the festivities, well, to be fair, they're only just about to begin. Such a hallmark of sport and interactions here. Saliba Havili gets the honor of leading the Sivatal. The crowd weren't hot already, I can tell you what they are now. The challenge laid down by Tonga, this proud nation, made up of a hundred islands, a hundred thousand people, 60,000 of them who call Aotearoa New Zealand home. Marshall. What an awesome start, Daryl. Benji Marshall. It's hard to believe here, two years out of the game of rugby league. And clocks up game 298 in the NRL next week. He too will go past 300 games in a career that started way back in 2005, the year he won the comp. Ben Cummins, hugely experienced. Of course, international. Rules applying here, one referee, 305 NRL games for Cummins, 14 State of Origins and 13 Test matches. A couple of really interesting battles out there this evening, no more so than in the number nine jersey. Saliva Havili, he's been playing a lot of middle for Canberra. 
and been playing really, really big minutes as well. And then for the Kiwis, Brandon Smith, just how many minutes it will take him to blow out, maybe 30 in the first half, and then it'll be probably Jerome Hughes will come into the hook and roll, such an important part of the game. Touches the ball more than anyone else in the game. Well, Saliva grew up playing his rugby league here. It's great to see him back here as well. All New Zealand League supporters and fans have been pleased to see his game develop. His opportunities coming his way down there in the Australian capital. Just make sure we're behind you. Thanks, boys. This youngster here, Kotoni Staggs, made his debut for the Broncos last year. Comes from Wellington okay. in New South Wales. Player on the rise. Here we go. Okay, here we go. So we're underway, it's Mantea, Maltonga, up against the New Zealand Kiwis. 80 minutes of action ahead of us, and there'll be plenty of big stings going in as Wade Hargraves gets into the mix. Not surprising this time, while all there to greet him. A wonderful carry as well. It's Isaac Liu. So here's Brandon Smith. Rams written on his wrist, Smith, in reference to the Waiheke Rams, a small club, but now with a proud contribution to the national game. There's a lot been said about the unavailability of Fafida, one of the stars of Tongan Rugby League, an opportunity for others to step up. Pretty near perfect set of six, six this one, Dale. This is Tupo bringing the ball back. They go into the legs, pick him up and drive him. There's offload. So many cutter with the ball. He's been a little out of favour as far as top side works concerned for Stephen Kearney. He's played with effectively in the Canterbury New South Wales Cup cutter. He's a sort of player that can turn it on and so can this man. Will Hopawadi to another, ground. Another offload there out the back. Go to. Very important. Tonga play smart oh, in the opening exchanges here. Punch into the corners. There's Havili. Plenty of courage for Havili. As he had to the dummy half. One of the stars of the NRL. One of many who featured in last year's grand final. That's Sasua Taikaho. It's a terrific touch. As is this man, Tui Vasa Shek. Let's go sideline with Monty. Oh, boys, we were looking forward to this. The middle exchanges was going to come. The physicality that we all expected. Tell you what, the crowd is warming up now. You've seen straight away the hidden stick is a must here from the Kiwis. Two offloads from the Tonga team already. And once they offload, the crowd erupted. They got behind them. You can't be doing that. What a game. There's Bromwich. Jesse Bromwich, 30 Ready now. now. Over 200 games for the Storm. On his brother Kenny. He's really come out of the shadow. And he's a top player on his own right. Deep. It's the Hopuati this time. Up there to make the defensive play. One of hard graves and Britain knee quarter. An interesting selection, Nikora. He's got credentials, but not a lot of NRL experience, perhaps. A selection with the future in mind. Pongo with the ball, just inside the 40 meter line, 20 in from the western touchline. There's Manu Mari. No heading to England. This is off road. Tonga. Talk about post-contact meters. Great returning home for a man. Pamelolo. Left as a 16-year-old. And the ball's been dropped. Tonga will get the ball. Can they profit here? Five meters out from the try line. Big chance now for Tonga. Here's Havili. His opposite comes at him. Tui Master Shek as well. Puts him to ground, but they're not finished with. Little knock on there. Oh, this Asiata. Hurts. This hurts now. John Asiata. Just couldn't get a clearance from the play the ball. Tuivasa Shek drops an absolute setter to gift Tonga some football right in the red zone, shall we call it.
Let's have a look at this. This is Roger. Just took his eyes off it at the last moment. Pengai Jr. as well as Takiaho bearing down on him. Dodge a bit of a bullet here, the Kiwis. Asiata with a little mistake, the 26-year-old. Ton of pressure on him. I've seen him kick twice on that left-hand edge now, though. Natural right-footed kicker, Asiata. Actually of Samoan and Tongan heritage. Yeah, it's a nice story too. When he moved to the Cowboys a few years ago, seemingly almost adopted by the. It was a good run from Kent. Gee, he's been good this year. Mo Malo. The Papa Toy Toy Junior Club here in Auckland. One of the very best from the Warriors. Just a couple as Tonga come up with the football. There's a lazy offload here from Jared. What a hard race. Just five minutes gone already. Nerves on show. That first pass to Jared Wadaya Hargraves was behind him from Brandon Smith. Had to check himself and come back towards the middle. And then he originally called Tonga knock on. However, he has reversed it. As we said throughout the game, guys, this team has no trouble getting out of their own end and playing in the opposition 20. The fact that he do this and let them into their half with so much energy early on is a danger sign for this Kiwi seat. There he is. So big running in the number two. In trouble, plenty of teams, especially from close to the line as well. He's up to play the ball cut down. He's got lovely footwork for a big man, Manu Maru. Normally plays on the left here for Parramatta, playing on the right here for Tonga. This is Kalmo Lolo. And they go straight for the legs of that man. 25 metres out of centre field. Avili. Eyes up. Through the hands for Lua Blake and Dasiata. Tibidapango Jr. Tibidapango Jr. 12 out from the try line. Tonga asking some questions early on here to the Kiwis as Toka Aho needs three to put him away. And Tonga surprise. Here's Lolo here. We know they're good out wide, but so is Mo Malo. He saves the day for the Kiwis. This was always going to be a really special battle here. Left edge for the Kiwis, right edge in terms of Fusatua for Tonga. So Fusatua and Ken Mamalo, club mates, having a marvellous battle there. And Ken comes up trumps. He's a master's with some wonderful work, making sure he is caught. The Tongan Mate Matonga fan off the, the ball itself. Mo down in the back row. We'll have another look as Brandon Smith decides to peel back some metres through the middle. Darting run. Tackle three, Brandon Smith. Tackle three. Can you go that, Chids? Manu Mo. Frame has been asked to stop it, so I've got to stop it. Yeah, see, see. Ronnie Palmer. Frame has been in the NRL for Brandon, longer than most. 20 back. years plus for that man there. Yep. Good to see Brandon Smith running the football. I know the instruction to Brandon when he was picked at dummy half was think run first, then pass. Yeah. Right. The New Zealand have spent 80% yeah. of the Anyone seven minutes work? played so far in their right own half position. Even Stevens there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some concern here for Manu Mao. Yeah. We've also got to remember in this game, Dale, that there's just the one referee, which generally means that space around the ruck is going to be a little bit more. The ruck speed also can be a little bit slower. Signed to Hull FC for next year. Manu most 30 now. Out of the great breeding ground. St Paul's College. They're calling it the red and black. To the red of Tonga. Sort of Black and white. in an awkward Have position, didn't he? Ken puts a little bit of footwork on him. First, he cops a hip of Mamalo. And then also cops some friendly fire from Saliva Havili. Satili Tupanua will be the replacement in 17. 
Going to have to come off for a head assessment. Another example as uh, Mo. Oh, he's tough. The boy from Morris, there was no way he was coming off. So much on the line, so much pride. And when you got the music playing in the background and singing, he'll be there. That's going to be a feature of today's game. Here's Isaac Liu. He only played five games for Samoa, Isaac. In the Pahu Club as a, a young member, like many. Travel overseas as Kenny Bromwich finds some space and Bromwich is towards the line. Last ditch defence by Hopuati. This repels him, but they're running hot here, and it's a changeover as you see. A little head, in, head knock or injury as well. Must have forgotten exactly what play that was. Jesse Bromwich. And they stopped the play on tackle three, and then really good leg speed. What about that? No look pass. Brother to brother, Bromwich to Kenny. Line forward the clock, or should I say. Well, Hopawadi did his team a real service there by denying Kenny Bromwich. With an injury. Just right there, I don't think so his older brother in a bit of a knee accidental knee to the back of the head. Six foot five and 114 k. GGSC Bromwich. Plenty of experience too with the Storm. Like the Storm, well represented here yeah. this evening. He's got marvellous skills for a front rower, hasn't he? Jesse Bromwich. Good footwork. Also can ball play a little as well. Moving on the shoulder to that from the Blake. Starting out. The body sliding into dummy half all over here does likewise this time around for Lua Blake. Oh! We're loose here, boys. Here, come on. On the 30 meter line. Tonga. Starting really well. Okay, I'll hold. Oh, Holy Jesse, wait now. Wait. Go for it. his game's improved over the past few years. He was always good, but. Just an absolute model of consistency. Jesse, last one. Forcing oh, some big deep work here on for the black and whites if they go down the right edge. There's Lolo here. Jason. Okay. Time. Yeah, he's got a big kicking game on him, Tui Lola here. He wouldn't give him the time and space to execute that. Come on, back it back. Well, now. Come on, look. Talking up the meters. Oh, he means business today. Look at the determination there. Masters. Oh! Actually, he's played for the Cook Islands a couple of times, too. And again for Marley Witzer. Sydney is a 17 year old, his son. Top point scorer last year for the Tigers. New Benji. Not too many players. And noted by one name only. It's a good read there. Daniel Tupo, or was it Fusatua? Challenge out here and up for it too. Key boys here, here. Go one. Britain. One. Interesting to see the tactics of the New Zealand kicking game with really big bodies on the Tongan side. I'm sure they'd like to keep the ball in play to make Tonga play big minutes. Big minutes with big men means they fatigue quickly. Go three. Even Stevens on the stat sheet at the moment, not surprising. Ten minutes gone. Nothing on the scoreboard. Nothing in it. The Times Mo Mobile gets it 20 from about from his own line. Turns up a wall of red and white is there. Nice work there from Saliva Havili jumping out of dummy half and giving himself an option of a little bit of a kicking game, looking for the 40-20, but didn't quite get it right. Martin Zelezniak plays the ball and it gives Joe Manu an opportunity. Big ups to the people of Tokoloa, he's the pride of 
took it over. Timber Town in Central North Island. Now Bromwich, consistent. Here's Smith, stealing meters like a thief in the night. He's true and away. Smith, Smith is close. Momentum got him there. Momentum has helped Brandon Smith to get the first try of the night. What a run. All the way from Waiheke. Brandon Smith. As I mentioned earlier, the instructions for Brandon were run first, then pass. And he does just that. Skips out to the left, finds some space in behind the ruck, throws a dummy. See why Takiyahu can't come up with the play. And then around William Hopoate. Good speed, brilliant run. What a talent this kid is. He's only behind the best hooker to ever play the game. Cameron Smith over there. So he hasn't played much of nine this whole year. Today, once again, he gets a start in the number nine. Run, young man, run. Run is exactly what he did. 35 metres. They'll be very proud people now jumping up in Mohiki. And so they should. Well, he debuted last year here against the Australians. Moved over to Townsville as a youngster. His older brother had an under-20s contract up there and paid for brothers. And then... Uh, a couple of years there for the Cowboys NYC squad came to the 2016 team of the year and then end a three-year contract with the Storm Brandon Smith 23 and a whole lot to offer the black and white jersey he's had some superb runs already it allows his own masters pretty straightforward conversion and he scored two tries in the NRL in 34 games Brandon Smith but he's been threatening and one of the reasons for his popularity he's got an unusual physique for a rugby league player he's like a bulldog isn't he he's like a pinball he bounces in and around and off people always seems to find a way he's really really good balance he continues to find his feet when he is knocked over and he gets up quickly predominantly used as an impact player but now well will he be the long-term half for new zealand play a different style there was some concern that uh, not a lot of cover for him as Tonga restart. Doing pretty good, but they'll have to get the microscopic eye on Brandon Smith has already caused them problems. You mentioned Brandon Smith, he's down for 180 centimeters in terms of height. He's nowhere near that, I can tell you. Only 93 kgs, but that's why he's loved so much. He does not fear anyone. He loves this game and he loves contributing. Not without a bit of humour right here too, DJ. Certainly is a character. Isan Masters away. A nice right arm fend. Was that on Stags, Katoni? Now Tonga really have to focus on their defensive work too. The challenge is issued. A nice shift to the left, deep in their own end. Kuvasa Shed, first receiver. Punching into the corners. Copy looking to instruction. And a good, Madge. That was a good kick from Sean Johnson. Right on the halfway. Found a bounce. Now it was one, two, three, four in the defensive line. They hold Daniel Tupo up. Now drive him back towards the goal line. Go two. Joseph! Off white feet. Versatile player. Off white. Pungo. Pussy to it. An opportunity for Katini Stags. Stags, as Australian Indigenous and Tongan background. He's playing for Hold his dad that uh, uh, he's never met. His dad lives in the United States. Katini Stags, not played out. So there, Tui Lola here, looking for the sideline. Drilling the ball straight along the ground into the back of Benji Marshall. Mamalo comes in to add to his numbers. Nobody noticed the change in jerseys then listed. There's some two up. There's number two is Brandon Smith again. Nice little offload there, Hargraves. Weaving a bit of a web. Two of us a ship. Takes it to 25, danger time here, quarter of an hour gone, 6-0 scoreline here in the Oceania Cup opener. 
Here they come with Bromwich into the back. Liu to the 10 meter line now. Four tackles gone. Thinking momentarily about the short side play as Marshall finds Johnson. Now to Watson is the Lesniak prepared to have a go with it. Benji Marshall with it and says, okay, well, let's go sideways. Easy work. Taking it skillfully as well in the end goal. There seemed to be plenty of space there on the last play option. Tonga just holding their line somewhat. Marshall didn't quite get the kick right, just a little bit too deep. Here's Pangai Jr., is it? An attitude on show and on the run as well. Lolo here, stepping. Can't break the defensive line. 38 metres out from Jesse. the try line. Go to Jesse. To Fonua Blake. Fears no man. Charges forward. Jesse. Pops the ball out to Harvey. Who steps into a little hole. Saliva oh. inside the 20. He's him. It's all on here as Asiata tries to thread the needle. Offside. Oh, a little knock on here, I think, in the pickup from Roger Corbett. I understand he's going backwards, but his hand has it and goes forward, mate. It's a lovely little kick. It's a left foot kick, actually, from John Asiata. Natural right footer. But when he gets Short close to the line on the left side, he's clever enough just to drop it to his left foot. Let's have a look. Bit of an unorthodox drop from Joey Manu. Well, that's gone backwards and he's lost control of it on the way down, so that's what they've adjudicated on. Apologies to, to Abbasa Shek. That'll be a confidence builder for Asiata as well. We know that he's got a good short game, short passing game, and part of the reason why Christian Wolf has opted for him in the sixth jersey. Let's see what Tonga have got. Perfect opportunity to post some points. A little bit of a shaky pickup as well at the back there for Harvili goes unchecked. Two of us are check. Makes the tackle on him. Asiatsu to acting half. Down low for Toka Aho. Joshua. Five metres out from the try line. Slow to his feet this time. Harvili to the line. High oh, tackle. Oh. Leave it, leave it, Jason. You're coming, man. Tomalolo. High contact. Wow. It was good contact and needed to be from yep. the Kiwis as well. Just let us know exactly what you're doing. Just a line here. Line. Tomalolo takes some stopping, right as we well know. Wait for the tag, Jesse. Go. Oh, my hunt. For Noah Blake. Off the ball, here comes Tonga. The crowd will erupt if they're able to get over here. Tomalolo. Spinning towards the line is Mo. Well, the injury he had, he shrugged off, and Jason decides to have a go himself. Cummins has a good look. But he can't work out what's going on. We'll have to go upstairs here. I think Jason Tamalolo yeah. thinks he scored here. Tackle three, yeah. Let's have a look. It's the first opinion. Tackle three. Tackle three. I have no try. No try. Uh, can you check whether that ball touches the grass in the in-goal area as it comes through, please? Okay. We don't have to erect it. Just want to see if there's a grounding there on the way in. Just see whether it hits the grass on the way through. Yep. Once again, we're reminded of just what this man means to this team. He's over, but can he get it down? There's a hand under the ball at this stage. Doesn't look like it's down there for me. Got anything better on that, Rob? Wow. I think Benji Marshall has just done enough here to hold Tal Malolo up. And that's a magnificent effort. Uh, we go back to that other one, mate. I'm happy to make a call on that. It goes close nice to the ground, though. First. This one will tell us. The ground. Jason Tamalolo. And he's yeah. got his hand under the ball. It doesn't seem to touch the ground there. Jason Tamalolo does not get the ball to the ground. We have a decision. The ball? Yeah. Oh. Wait, not going into me. You're on the ball. Well, if they... It, they won't allow the try, but... If you're a Tong and you think it grazes three. the grass, you can bet on that. So there goes confirmation, no try. All of Wakatani can take a bow. Great work from Benji Marshall. Jesse, push up! Save the day, Benji. 
Tomo Lolo showed his intent. Toke Aho, his propping partner. And again, working hard on D. Wario Hargraves. To the right. To Lolo here. Now it's Fussy Tua. Kiwi sliding defeat. Anticipated his arrival. We're there to clean up. Short side still. Into the end goal. Two of us a check. Push dead. Good play from Tonga. They give another tilt. Good play from Tonga down a little short side here. Nice little kick in behind from Lola here. Checking the edge of Kenny Bromwich. Isan Masters and Benji. Two of us a check does well to pick it up. Probably coming your way, mate. So long now 90% completions. Okay, time off. 20 minutes gone on this match. Long way back from Leeds Rhinos for tonight's game there, Monty. But Lolo here is showing that well, we didn't think he had the goods before. He's uh, certainly growing experience and confidence. Well, he's lucky with the full pack that he's got. He can turn the front foot, he can play back out foot, he can play what he sees in front of him. Instinctive. That's perfect for Tui Moala Lolo here. I'll tell you what, a back-to-back -back set is always hard to repel, but when you've got these giants running at you with absolute power, good luck. Fanua Blake. Yeah, leg drive from Fanua Blake. Tonga now five offloads. New Zealand two. He's really put his hands up in the heaven. Well, here is Smith. Not on my watch, says Brandon. Gets himself in the way. Two on offer. The things are running hot here for the red and white. Yeah, that's going to hurt defensively for the Kiwis. Another set of six. Messi in the play of the ball after a good contact in the tackle. So, I mean, it's a let's go. And they're into it again with Fonua Blake, a couple of metres out from the try line. <laughs> really giving it to the bit, the moment. Tonga and Tamalolo. Shot Nakora, Britain Nakora, one on one with Tamalolo. Up to the left, Havili staggers. Toke Aho cleans up. Romic, talented two for Sashek. They've been really hanging it tough at the moment as Manu Mau gets hold of the ball. Look at the leg drive from Mau. Watch out, Havili. Good from close range, doesn't use it this time. He's been working real hard, the prop forward. This time a little sluggish to his feet, understandably. Graciata. The Tamba, could they go down? It is! Because coming around the outside, you betcha! Solomon Kata is in for Tonga! Cheers. Looks good from here. Oh, nice and loud, mate. They're going to check, though. <laughs> They have some threats, don't they? Put the tour on the right. I have the last tackle. Two balls on the left. I have a try. Can you confirm that he does not put that ball on? Enjoy, uh, Kiwi defender, please. That he doesn't lock the ball on. Yeah. Okay. So they have to direct the, the contact in the when air when balls? the ball comes down from Tupo. So let's have a look. Perfectly weighted Common kick. Common left side kick chase are on side. And from something here, tight on this Joey contest. Manu giving a little bit of an escort. Looks to be okay. We'll need something a little that tighter, though. fine from there. Eyes oh, yes. only for the football. Oh, he taps it there. And double tap back. Doesn't touch the hand. Ball is knocked back by time. And Dallin Watton here, Zelezniak. So, this is going to be a try goal by Solomon Carter. Carter. We have a decision. His fifth try in six test matches for Tonga. They're just awaiting confirmation here. And it's a try. The first have been red and white, no try, but now it's green. And it's all go. The flags are getting a workout, I'll give you the tip. I think he was mesmerized by the sea of red, so he put up red as well, no try. But it was a try. The colour is green, and I tell you what, Tupo, he normally gets up a little bit wider out on the edge to score a try, but a pinpoint kick, as you said, Chuck. Look at that. Tupo gets up, it comes back, and Solomon Kata, who hasn't scored many under license this year, gets a good try, Chuck. Yeah, Solomon Kata. 
found himself out of first grade at the Warriors for the last month. And now, comes a new lease of life here. And the red jumper, and why wouldn't you? Loving life, Solomon. I'm pleased for him, the young fella. Well, the man who climbed high is too far, he's six foot five, but he taps it back to his ombre there. He's about 5'10". Born in Afu and Tonga, moved to New Zealand. So, Kutoni Staggs is your goal kicker. I thought Sio Siwa Takiaho or Tui Lola here might have been the goal kicker. Let's have a look. Tough assignment from touch, strikes it nicely. Waved away. There he is, Solomon that cut that. Leaving the Tonga under 21 rugby team and bring it up. Sacred Heart College before moving across to league. Five going to the Kiwis. Seven for Tonga. That meant a great deal to them. The Kiwis have made 40 more tackles than Tonga to start this match. Well, if there's any suspect confidence to the well done, Solomon. Washed away. Nelson, big Nelson onto the football field. I'm near Nelson! Hold here, boys, wait, wait! Great That's and good. intense rugby league here at Mount Smart Stadium. Look at Tommy and him in the background, oh, bringing the crowd on board. And as well, this band's had a, a great opening contribution in the first 24 minutes. For Lord Blake, it's here, smart thinking. Pushes it into the corner. The Warriors and Kiwi fullback has it. Havili oh, and Mo. There to wrap him up. Just outside the 20 metre line. Is there plenty to do? Roger Tuivasashek, mainly in defence in this game. And we want to see him to come into the attacking frame. In the middle, high, Start hanging around wait the lights. Here, Sean Johnson and Benji Marshall. Some little inside balls up through the middle late in the first half. So far, Solomon will be pumped and ready to get in and contribute. This is Bromwich. He's having a good game here on the left edge. Summoning tackles for Kenny. Up for Johnson. He too mirrors little here's intentions and pushes him into the corner where Hopwadi finds himself in goal. He'll do well to get out into the field of play, but does achieve that. Go side with Monty. I tell you what, it's a game of inches at that one. They are able to get him in into his own try line. It could have changed the direction of this game where we were going. It's all about momentum shifts. When Tonga score a try, cue the singing. That gets him up. Some of these runs have been exceptional too, which also gets this Tongan team up. We see Jesse now getting a bit of treatment on their neck. Well, Michael Maguire will be asking the Kiwis to wrap the football up. This is for Satua. Offloads. Uh, really killing them deep in the sand. Just over here, boys. Good kick chase from the Kiwis. Sees Joey Manu come up with David Fusatori. an injury. Just been asked to stop the play. Injured by Joseph Manu. You're going to play, David. Some okay. Problems. This is Hopawati coming out of the in goal area, and he leads with his head, and there goes so straight in to the knee of Joseph Manu. Head harder than knee there for Joseph Manu. His connections in Tagati Wai What a rise he had in 2018. Joey Manu. The grand final win with the Roosters, followed by selection for the Kiwis. Just under 60 games for the Roosters, too. Still when he played for the junior Kiwis, but also represented the Australian under 19s at an international. Tourney as well. Signed with the Roosters until the end of next year. Here's Adam Fanua Blake. He's really stepped up as well. Penny Tedipo gets a, an opportunity as well. 6-4 yep. scoreline, 25 minutes in. Tedipo, well, he doesn't lack experience. Over 100 games plus for the Eels. Let's run through some of the stats too. One of the more experienced Tongan players too, Tini Tirafo. Joey Manu looks to be okay. Sometimes you get a bit of a stinger. Bone on bone. 
And then you get a little bit of feeling, comes back into the leg, and away you go again. 25 minutes in and completing at 93 percent the Tongan team by the ball for a high quality match 93 percent now it's a last 10 one. offloads as well Marcus straight Brandon Hull go making the key defenders work hard one here again so there's the tactics Tonga want to play that kick as well getting out of their own end was meant to find touch by bouncing along the ground. Over it, two ricochets off the back. Is it of Isan Masters, was it? So one team wanting to play big minutes, the other team quite happy to have a break. Well, there's, <laughs> there's plenty of fun being had. Okay, it's party time, isn't it? Find him, find him in time for us, mate. You okay, know, the, the streets were, were great to watch time, as the Jason. sea of red Peter and black as well. You can see the the red and black of the, of the Kiwis, Kiwi supporters. All in good fun, though. So a little bit of suburb. Yeah, one one the came with about 30 flags festooned on a boat that didn't look as though it had ever been near the water. Toad along. Hooten and hollering. It's been fun to watch. That left edge here, Kenny Bromwich has really been superb. As Smith finds wide out, Hargraves. He's trying to find Tui Lola here every time he comes to this left edge as well. Marshall, just pass and pop forward. It's allowed to go on though. Britain in quarter from the Cronulla Sharks has it. Here comes Tui for Sashek. He'll go cross field. One of the dancing feet of Sean Johnson. Although those dancing feet, I suppose, have been. Supplanted by one Manu Vatavai, one dancing with the stars, and the week just gone. And of course, Manu is part of the Tongan team as well. Here early warming the boys up, along with John Hopwada. This is Daniel Tupo. Nice tack back from Tupo, resulting in the try. The double around there from Kata. The left leg might be problematic for him. 28 minutes gone. One try apiece. Tonga well and truly in the hunt at the moment, and here he comes again. Tama Lola, oh, the pass was forward. I don't think there could be any moans there. Kenny Bromwich come out of a tackle here, here really awkwardly. Someone down or, uh, Twisted in, in an awkward position. Okay, a little bit of a grimace. Good work, boys. Let's have a look at this. This is Fusatua. And Bromwich, yeah, leads in. And then you watch when he goes down, cops the weight of Hargraves over the top as well. Hargraves. Yeah, yeah, mate. 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 Most of it landing on Kenny's lemon. There's the imagery from Good above. It's a little break for Saliba Havili. Okay, when you're in, Will. When you're in, keep that tunnel clear, Junior. Brandon, get down. He might chalk up. Out. Tataloa Law gets uh, his opportunity in. Stand down. Junior Tata Law to Vita. Going for the Rabbits. It's certainly John. hanging in Any there at the moment, hold. Tonga. Hold. Go to. In some ways dominating. They've been very good. Marshall first receiver now, Johnson. Lease on our boat. Move, move. Oh, yeah, mate. Come on. Oh, Wonderful yeah. story. Go Nearly 30 now. Stack of games for the Dragons. Oh, yeah, Cultivating oh, his career across the Tasman, oh, but he's back in the Warriors jersey as we see an opportunity here. Here is Johnson! And he opens him up. Sean is back. Magic Johnson is back. Such a gifted runner of the football is Sean Johnson. He set this up with a couple of probes down the right-hand edge. And there was good service, too, from his insides. Smith finds the first receiver. They're in the middle of the field. Out in front it goes. Marshall, well, he does well to pull that ball down. And then the show and the go. All too easy for Sean Johnson. 
They didn't really put Tonga under a lot of pressure. But they took an opportunity when it presented itself. And wanting to watch the halves pairing of Benji Marshall and Sean Johnson. See what they can get up to. Sean Johnson now with the Sharks. Injuries kept him out of play for four or five weeks. Had a hit out last week. And great to see him back here at Mount Smart Stadium. He's really pleased to be back as well. Former high hibiscus coach junior. He's coming off the back of a pretty severe hamstring injury, Sean Johnson. Lucky to get a game in last Thursday night, which gave him a big long week getting into Saturday here. Surprised he's not doing the goal kicking. Masters has been pretty accurate with the tee. Hits it nicely. Raises the flags. 12 4 scoreline. Sean Johnson, New Zealand touch it, even an Aussie rules representative. And a couple of seasons ago, Johnson became New Zealand's greatest point scorer. Let's have a look at him again. It's the dummy. Slices through with some class down to you, Monty. Well, it's the threat he has with the ball in two hands, the speed, we know that, the step he possesses. But as there's two outside men that were running some offline, subtle lines, which put the doubt in the defender's mind, that doubt gives Sean enough time to just show his absolute pace and X Factor. You know, the Kiwis will have no reason to be complacent. They're 16 2 up against Tonga and Hamilton during the World Cup. Run oh, down yeah. at the last 28 22. Oh, Often criticised Sean Johnson for not running the football. Scores his 12th try in the black and white. Isaac Lee has been good, hasn't he? Very consistent. Two charges in the very first set of six. This is Nakora. Britain. You with 24 tackles and five carries with defence as well. This is important that Tonga keep applying the pressure. Smith. So for Solomon up. Next up is a 15-year-old. And then Nisi Fauni on for Tonga. Oh, Brandon Smith. When other man would have been tackled, he finds some way to scurry forth. That's ball. Flicks it on the inside. Martin is Zelezniak. Back to SJ. Chip over the top. Too easy there. Okay. Not one of his better kicks there. Okay. Nice work, seeing them running it on the last again. What about Brandon Smith? He's like a commando, isn't he? Hold here. Go zero for Brandon. Slipping and sliding, for sure. Brandon. And with your choke, how does he have the right to play with such a motor, such an engine, and such ability at dummy half? He snipes, his hits, his shots. What a wonderful talent. Hats off to the Bellamy coaching regime, too. He's turned him into something of a champion. Long time understudy to the best Sorry, in the business. That's a mark there to him. He might play a straight 40 here in the dummy half role. Brandon Smith. So Tonga, Saluda Havili, has been replaced in the hooking role by Manasi Fayunu. We're wondering what might happen if Smith took injured. Of course, if Jaro Hughes might step into the void. Looking forward to seeing Jaro introduced into the game as well. Tonga. Getting themselves in good field position. Tatola with a nice carry into the 20 meter zone. Shaking to the left now. Asiata sends it back on the inside. Wrapped up by his opposite number, Arma, in the mix as well. Here they come, Tonga. Tokaaho this time with it. Can't slip through the tackle. Making sure on that pit. Get a ball. Into the mix. Release last one. Last tackle now for Tonga. Asiata trying for a repeat performance. Watson is the Lesniak climbs higher though. It's going to be a penalty here for Joey Manu. And an escort. Dallin Watson is the Lesniak does well to end up with the football. You watch the work of Joey Manu trying to take Daniel Tupo or deny him an opportunity to go in the air. 
It's an area the game's been really strict on this year, is escorting. And it's correct. So up it goes. Joey Manu, no eyes for the ball at all. In fact, he just wants to take Daniel Tufo off his line. Very accurate assessment, team Chong. Right here. Go. Tonga. I've got to score here before the half time break. Here they come into the last five. What has been an intriguing battle. It was always built up to be. It has not disappointed. Can he now bring it up? Hold him. Wait. Tenepo to his feet. Look out. Tonga on the run. Good read from Masters. Up quickly. Aloha here. Hopuati to acting half. First receiver, Tokayaho. Staggered run. Easily shut down too. Yu continues to impress. Asiata gets the ball out. Tap on flick on it's all on. And down the left edge they go. The ball is back. Asiata turns. Away from one. Make that two and three. Here's Kata. And Katu's already scored one. Here's the ball 11 out from the try line. Papuati first receiver. And now Lolo here. Across field goes Lolo here. Delivers on. And out wide. Pick up. Dive. And not the finish they were after. In a touch. Wow. Great play from Fusatua. I don't think he got there. But boy, oh boy, it's exciting. Lola, Lola here. Skips to the outside. They started right on the left-hand edge. And then a big ball, and the pickup was just beautiful from Fussy Tua. He's done this before, but just didn't quite get himself in the right frame to attack the line. Again, Benji Marshall to the rescue. He puts his body on the line for New Zealand. Beautiful two try saving efforts from the 34-year-old. So important. Just how much juice is this taken out of the New Zealand team? All of this possession. Now nearly 60 tackles more they've made in the first half. A ton of experience out there, though. Daryl Halligan. I'm sure they'll go into the sheds, get a bit of a breather, and come out roaring again. But great entertainment for the 25,000 fans who have turned up here at Mount Smart Stadium to witness this amazing Oceania Cup spectacle. Here's Britton Nikora. Asiata. He's got good speed. Britton Nikora. Manu. Look out. Tonga. Manu's away. Cutter is there. Solomon gets him from behind. Falls awkwardly to Joseph Manu. He's to his feet now. Watson is a Lesniak. To acting half. Spirals it quickly. Sean Johnson thinks about it. Flicks it out the back door. Nikora. Pushing it into the end goal. They've got a pass and it's been knocked on. It's survived, but only just. Oh. Christian Wolf in the coach's box. Take a big breath. Great work from Joey Manu. Skipped out of dummy half. Down he goes. He's got a brilliant left fend, Joey Manu. Solomon Carter all over him. And then from the play, the ball, Sean Johnson, and I like it. He backs himself. He goes, and then a lovely little kick in from the Cora. Daniel Tupo Make says, sure hey, let's play. Let's get out of here. Well, Apoati says, I'm not too sure. And you're ready, Tui. With the total born in the Cora. He's only 21, but again, recognised that the opportunity to get another set. The benefit his team was just on a minute and a bit to play. Go, one. So he left footed into the end goal, and now the black and whites have a chance with it to finish off this first half. Big prop from it. 20 out from the try line. Is there another twist to the tail? 12 4 scoreline. Kiwis on the hunt. Armal just a couple of metres from the try line. Look out, look out. Tom Abramich is there. Bromwich forced backwards. Not much in it though. Smith. Here we go. Here we go. Johnson. He's done it again. He's done it again, Sean Johnson. He's done it once. He's done it twice. Hey, Chiefs, can you just confirm the mark, Identical replay of his first try from Sean Johnson. 
Take a bow the players around them. So many options when you carry the ball in two hands. Good service from the inside as well. First pass was good to Marshall. Marshall to Johnson was right on the spot. Everyone had eyes for the football. And then watch this. Show. Go. I just did that 10 minutes ago from a first try. I'll do it again now, just before half time. Monster. He's moved out. Finally beat them. There he is, Sean Johnson. Well, certainly everyone was following where the ball was intended. Johnson had other ideas. Again, he can leave the very best of them in his wake. Nathan Kalis in the sheds. Stacey Jones, the man they call Madge. Michael Maguire be satisfied with the work of his national squad. Here at the halftime break, 16 4 with the kick to come. A couple of metres in from the Eastern touchline. Isn't it a pleasure when you've got halfbacks that want to run the football? I mean, everyone must be a threat on the football field. And often we see half setting up shape and feeding others and engaging, but when they simply run the football, it's perfect. Masters have plenty of height on that. And it hits the woodwork. So we go to the break, and it's the Kiwis who lead by three tries to one. Here at halftime at Mount Smart Stadium, the Kiwis 16, Ponga 4. Jared, lots has been said about the two four pack. What's it like out there in the middle, man? Yeah, it's nice and physical, bro, uh, obviously. Uh, we just got to get in front defensively. Uh, there's some big boys. You know, they've got uh, plenty of bends and they're playing off the back of this crowd. So, hell of a night, mate, but um, nice and physical in the middle third. We'll go rest up. Over to you, Lavina. Well, Hoppawari, so far the difference between the two sides is some brilliant Sean Johnson magic. What will it take for Tonga to reward the fans tonight? Uh, I think we've got to just do better with our kicking, kicking the corners, and uh, if we can get them coming out of their own end, then that'll limit Sean's running game, which is, as you've seen, it's, it's, it's outstanding. Look forward to the second 40. Thanks. What a first half. It's been a wonderful celebration of rugby league and culture, and I hope you're enjoying this opening to the Oceania Cup. It's great to have you along. The Kiwis leading 16-4. We'll run through it all for you after the break. More to come. Welcome back to Mount Smart Stadium. 16-4 scoreline. The Kiwis leading here in this opening of the Oceania Cup. What a spectacle we've witnessed. And in the last 10 minutes of that first half, Sean Johnson with a couple of slices of magic making the difference. 16-4. Daryl Halligan, what a riot of colour this yeah. celebration of sport has been. Comes to life, doesn't it, Mount Smart Stadium? When Tom and pull it up and they're full of voice. Everyone's allowed to join in and dance. And they're happy. They certainly know how to support their team. And we can all learn from it. I'm absolutely in agreement there too. It's been remarkable. Plenty of Kiwi supporters as well, but the Tongan community have come out in great numbers. Remember, there's just 60,000 who call Aotearoa New Zealand home. What I really like about them is they support their team so passionately, Dale. And even if they don't get the victory, they still smile. They've brought a lot of colour to the streets of Auckland as well, and will continue to do so. It's a big year for Tongan Rugby League. Only up against... Great Britain later in the year. There's a lot of work for them to do here in the second half too. Trailing the Kiwis by 12 points. They've had the better of position. The Seal Siwa Takiaho. One game for the Warriors way back in 2014 off the bench in St George and then he shifted to the Roosters. They've got a big job ahead of them. Christian Wolfe has been the coach of Tonga for five years now. Saying that his young son who's Spent the week with the Tongan team, believes he's Tongan, got Tongan flags flying in his bedroom window. And of course, Christian Wolf, born there in Mount Isa, has been assistant at Newcastle and to Anthony Griffin at the uh, Broncos as well. He this knows man that here on screen, John Asiata, has played 100 games for the Cowboys. A real bench player comes off the bench for Paul Green in both the grand finals the North Queensland Cowboys have played in their victory over the Broncos, of course, and then their loss to the Melbourne Storm. I think he's the key to their second half. If he can free up the likes of Tui Lolohia 
in a running game on the outside. He needs to be the distri distributor through the middle of the field. It's great to have the support of Adid. Bringing major events to Auckland City. It's a wonderful city of Pacifica Tanga. Lovely name, Satili Tupanua. Another, another one the Roosters have unveiled. The Kiwis kick off the second half, up by 16 to 4. Tonga charging back into their work. Well, that's a fine roll with the distribution roll at the moment. Talent, no doubt. A light on experience, but still plenty of heart for the 20-year-old. Māori Māori, Tong and Dad, Manasi. This is good yardage. Completed 89% of their sets in that first half. Good yards also in this first set of the second half. This is Asiata with the kick. Decent kick too, giving a chance. That's been put down. And it's two of the who get hold of the ball. Aims up. Interesting to note. Four penalties to Tonga in the first half. Tonga completed 17 sets in the first half to New Zealand's 13. But New Zealand ran for 200 metres more. Well, there's one of the reasons why it's Ken Mahamalo. What a season he's having. Sideline with you, Monty. Yeah, Ken's been great. Up against his mate in Fusatua. Tell you what, though, those extra tackles in the first half, it's not just normal tackles against guys that you can see every day, every week. It's against guys that are absolute beasts. So it's whether they're going to have enough in the tank at the back end of this. The way they finished that first half, the authority and on top. I actually think that there's real hope in the second quarter. We can be caught up. The young man, a great opportunity. I saw for Solomon now, but a beautiful offload. Flicks the ball back. Finds Lisa Armo. He'll take some stopping, good post-contact metres. The big Warriors player, Bromwich gets into the mix, thought about offloading himself. Turnover, Tonga with it, right on their line. Second time in the match, Jesse Bromwich has been caught on the last play, handing the football over to Tonga right on their own line. I love the work of Benji Marshall. If our pitchers actually can show it and they do track him, you want to see him waving his hands. He is so energetic, he wants players all around him. He really has. Pretty much got a new car to drive here in this Kiwi team. He's got the keys, he's got a V8. And he's breaking a few What's speed limits with it, I think. All the way behind here, Britain. Go through. Really enjoying, no substitute uh, for experience. You saw how much being in this Kiwi squad meant to him during the national anthems. That's That was a good shift from Tonga. Couple of spaces, a couple of cracks starting to appear. Well here. Smart thinking too. Again punches into the corner. Good kick that finds space. RTS offloads it to Momalo. Formed a good combination for their home team as well. This is their ground. Roger and Kins. Sean Johnson. Well, he knows every blade of grass on Mount Smart Stadium after spending the bulk of his career here. And again, we're reminded of knee quarter, unfazed by the step up in class to international competition. That's all for Solomon. Well molded in Melbourne. As this man has been as well. Oh, he is tough to crack. He's a cool dude, isn't he? Have a look at him go again. Oh, no. Is this what we can expect? Hits the, hits the, the, uh, the upright, excuse me. Just trying to get my head around it all. And what has happened here? No try, gut feeling. What about Brandon Smith? What Jeez. can't he do? Back to tackle one. Initially, it looked a like a try, oh. yeah. Can you confirm that New Zealand ground that ball in your goal, please? So first, he controls the middle. Director. Can we put them on the side? Beautiful the little kick, darting please? run. Seemed like he was stopped a couple of times, but he still kicks on and then decides he's got a kicking game to boot. Look at this. Perfect. New Zealand chases are onside from the kick. 
Tuivasa Sheik and into the well, post it goes. Grounding, no one mate. touches it. So well, a the simple finger on the sure ball, it's there will be a try. Then confirm a New Zealand grounding. So who gets it, Roger Tuivasa Sheik, or is it a hat trick for that man, Sean Johnson? Just about to find out. Ball is touched short of the line by Tonga. There is no grounding in the in goal. Well, there's a grounding with his foot. Just take that back and roll it through again. It was a little problematic, wasn't it? Off the pads. Apologies, just trying to get my head around it. Well, that's still a go up. Foot on ball. Does anyone get a hand on it? We have no grounding by Tonga. Sean Johnson puts his hand on the ball. We have a decision. And then RTS may be robbed of a try, I think. I think his hand was in front of the foot. Oh, struck it by the boot. Well, it's a strange old game. We love. But it's a great result. <laughs> so much good work from Brandon Smith, wasn't it? And then the kick, it's just lovely. So much skill. Sean Johnson with a hat trick. Very little for the third one. Pretty creative for the first two. Look at this. Just watch it. Look at his eyes. Looking for space, dancing. Ran further across the field than he did directly up the field to start with. And then found a little bit of space. Brandon Smith, it's like he's playing on the beach in Waiheke. He's having so much fun. We've heard of backyard football, but this kid is out there just playing eyes up football, playing what he sees in front. But what about the engine, the motor? How can he do that? It's his football. Still going strong. Well, Johnson, the benefactor there too, from some creative play from Brandon Smith. Kick of the guts for the Tongan squad. Early on in the second half, Johnson over the hat trick. I saw for Solomona. Vanessi! Oh, they can't straight. hang their heads. They can't afford to, or this black and white machine will steamroll them. So just two players not used Hang in this in. test match so far. Christian Wolf has unloaded his bench. We've got a forward pass here from New Zealand. Michael Maguire still to use. James Fisher Harris and Jerome Hughes. Got a call from the touchy here. Brandon Smith. This is the first error in Brandon Smith's game. A forward pass. Time of food. Just a forward pass, mate. Brandon Smith. Time to get the scrum feed. Brandon. 32 yeah. metres out. <laughs> Just back here, boys. Back here. Just enjoying Brandon's run so much. Hey, giving the ref a bit of advice as well, Brandon Smith. Okay. Just retire for Brandon, please. Okay, we're next to all three tries have been scored while he has been off the field. It was an important Isan, let the ball go in, mate. Child. All this Tongan. Not again. Wheel. Do you know, we know how important the bench is for a game, okay, especially when you're mate. behind on the scoreboard. You looked at that we'll bench and they seem somewhat dejected. All the players, their key personnel in this full pack, if they're going to start their role again. The Tonga, can they lift themselves? Can the crowd get in behind them? It's Malasi Fine who sends the ball across. Big defence. Committed and experienced. Melbourne connection undeniable here as Toka Avnor drops a pass or short. A little suspect too, I would suggest. Important for Tonga. They make a mark here. Sitila Tuponua. Eight metres out from the try line as Hopwali moves. And then back on the inside they come. Can he teleport? This is the last tackle for Tonga. Looking for a repeat set or better. Ball here on the step, little offload, need to keep it alive, must pass, Fainu puts it into the end goal. Back there is Masters, who fight his way out, but Donga are there and do earn themselves oh, another set. Skillful play, Fainu smart with his yep. last play. Clever from the manly half. 
Manasi Fayunu. They chance it. Tui Lola here as well in there. Let's have a look here. He gets up and then cleverly to his feet. Just gets a good weight on it. He unmasks with a little bit of dancing, thinking he can get out of there. Here are the Kiwis with the restart. Biggest defenders, numbers-wise. Kenny Vromich, 27, U, 28 tackles. In the mid-20s. What a dropout. 55 on the fly. No breeze either. Now it's a beautiful night here in Auckland City. Inside the 40, Donga. Jesse's base. 10 4 needs to put Clay the ball, delivers it up on the 30 metre line. Donga. One out run here from Doka Ahor. Jesse now. There's a double all on now. Towards the captain to do something special. Pass. All right. Pangai. Davida shows it and across to Hopoati. Bromwich again, effective on defence. Go for. When he commits himself to the tackles, it's Tamalolo. Needs to link up. Jesse off the ball. It really Last is one. terrific. A wonderful leader. Smith on his haunches and back play. They'll again try and force another repeat set as two of us are. Sheck tries to get out into the field of play. But he is denied that opportunity. Solid D here. Good little kick from Tui Lola here. Look at this. Sean Johnson. A little bit of a shepherd for Tui Vasa Sheck. He gets into the field of play and then Tui lands on him. He drives him back. Some more football for Tonga. Just sort of sense a momentum shift. And about a big guy that's going to come off the bench and add to what Tamarolo is doing. Adam Fanua Blake is looking to get his boarding pass to come on and help this red MMT side. And the go-to man has to be this man, Tamarolo. He winds up the crowd, get into it too, and he carries the football. Third set in a row. Siata inside the Tokaho. He's lost the ball. There's a hand in it. Tonga's momentum continues. Uh, no, Brandon Smith. Brandon Smith, what are you going to do? That's a mark. Penalties now 5 0 Tonga. That's all right. Levy Nelson! Hold here. Go one. Cummings. Join the refereeing responsibility. That one's gone backwards. Hopoadi. Turns sideways. B ball pass to Lolo here early in the tackle count. No need to panic. To put you up. New to the field. He's lost the football as well. He's got it. It's another penalty inside the 10. Too many captains here at the moment. There are two of us are Sheik and in comes Johnson. They're trying to create here, Tonga. Some of the executions not exactly great. Pass is going to ground. Hopoati starting to get a little bit more involved and in controlling line, through line. the middle. Fainu and Teleport. Damalolo. Bromwich has his measure. 15 out, straight in front of the post. With me now, make it. Hold here, hold. Go, one. Short side with Asiata, little hole for Pangai. Fainu. Pops the ball back. Johnny the standoff has it. I knew. That's a couple of meters. Shut down Tokyo Hall. Squeezed out of the action. He's trying to go forward. He does. Another couple of meters. It's Marshall. All over him. Lolo here. Pushes it quickly, it's Hopuati. Thinking Good about line. the pass, Good the final speed, tackle. Down. Here is Kata, Pangai, wrapped up, gets it back. Looking for the scoop, Asiata to knock on. The Kiwi survived three sets of attacking raids by Donga. Score remains the same, 22-4.
Take a bow. The defence of the Kiwis is outstanding. It's Jerome Hughes about to get a boarding pass himself. The line speed in particular has been fantastic. Denying some time and space to the Tom and team. When you're ready. What about the offloads now, Dale? 16 Tonga, 5 to New Zealand. Penalty can't be away. We just have the official word to in the background from our producers that the last try was, has now been credited to two of us are Sheik. A double for Johnson rather than a hat trick. Score remains the same. Jar Rome Hughes is in a popular figure. I was just about to say there's going to be some hard runs needed here for the Kiwis. And now discipline is going to be a little bit of a problem. Bit of lip. Way there. No, not at the moment. They're playing. Getting Sean penalty Johnson's count anyway, but it's six now. Sean Johnson was the man with the mouth, says Ben Cummins. There he is. Standing Wait ovation for, for that Wait man, for Brandon it. Smith, Go. on screen. Jeez, 31 man. tackles, 130 metres. Fantabulous, all right. Oh! Oh, Brandon. Stay now! Something of a cult figure in the Victorian capital. Got a few fans as well this side of the Tasman. Oh! Jared release! Here, boys, here, all the way. Hold no more oh! To his feet, only 15 no, metres out. Outside. Hi, Works it across. Marciata shut down by Munn. was up quickly, too. Stay now, Joseph. Wait here now, wait. Go, three. The red and white. The crowd urged them on. Follow a Blake. Yes, he is. Jerome straight here. It's good in the early exchanges, Adam. Go for. There's a chance for Tonga holding it up. Down the law. It's a little flat-footed to benefit. But he's the go-to man. Here's Lolo here, puts it into the end goal smartly. Tuivasar Shek is caught there, and the Tongan squad will get another opportunity. He's doing well, isn't he? Tui Lolo here. Finding a good weight and finding gaps in between the defensive players of the Kiwis. Let's have a look at this one. Again, they'll get a repeat set. The Tony Staggs chasing through. Nothing to Ivasa Shek can do to get out of there. Look at the red jerseys in the picture. Plenty of them there. You mentioned the sense of change of momentum. There's been changes of plenty for both sides. And once this crowd rev up a little bit more, anything can happen. You know, I can score points. It's this MMT side. Mate Ma'a Tonga. Die for Tonga. It's a declaration of the love they have for their island nation. 23,624 people here tonight. The opening exchanges of the Oceania Cup 2019. 60 metre dropout. This is Takiaho. Leads away. His 17th hitter of the match. He's a hearty footballer. Sasua. But they really need to utilize the football here. They've had plenty of it. Possession, in fact, favoring Tonga 58% to 42. That's a credit to the NZ squad, as we see. Kutini stags with it on the far side of the field. He's only 12 meters away for Sutuna acting half. And Lolo here. Fainu inside, showing it there for Tonga. Lolo Fainu sneaks through a half hole. It's outside the 10, short time. It's Asiata again. Okay. It's a knock on. Asiata following through, but Dupo didn't quite get there. Disappointment etched on his face. The Kiwis have just had no football. 26 sets now for Tonga, and just 15 completed for New Zealand. Good height in the air from Tupo. Daniel Tupo played in Tonga's 2013 World Cup campaign. He debuted against Scotland in that tournament. It's done 150 games for the Roosters, but he's picked up two premierships as well. Flying wing. And very Bonds. useful up in, uh, in Bondi Junction. A really important set of six here. This for the Kiwis. They've been camped down this end for the last five sets. Courtesy of Tonga. So a mistake-free set and kick on the end of it. 
be what Mark Maguire is ordering. Marginal Selesniak with the early carry. What a hard race, 29 tackles. Keep an eye on the work of Jerome Hughes, the dummy half, who doesn't normally play in this position. Fullback for Melvin Storm, of course. One game for the Titans and uh, one for the Cowboys. And down to Melbourne with Jerome Hughes, and what a sensation he has been. Filling in for the Imperial Billy Slater. Pacing him, I should say. Oh, Isaac to you. And one of the unsung heroes again with 28 tackles to his name. Jerome Hughes feeds it to the right hand side, and here is Johnson. Another mistake here, and the Kiwis come up with it. He didn't need to play it this ball, Daniel Tupo. He would have gone out on the full, I reckon, the kick. No, 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 no. in front of the ground, the ground. Here. Chancing his arm, running it on the last, and then got a real good piece of it. Bang. Well, if it didn't go out on the pool, it would have definitely found touch. Very first penalty of the game for the Kiwis. Yeah, that's an arcade, 60 minutes in. Tonga must be pretty disciplined. Sean Johnson's not been without his critics over the years here in Auckland. He's also got a decent fan base as well. Left in somewhat disappointing circumstances to further his career. Cronulla is trying to make every post a winner here in the black and white jersey tonight. There he is. Liu. Tonga. They have to be very good on D here because the Kiwis will threaten them. That's no doubt whatsoever. Again, right out Hargraves. Hughes. Liu. Important defence for Funua Black over the top. Johnson, look out for him. What did he put up? Wrap up and attack on Tony Lolo Tokaho. Johnson again holds it up. Bit of a lucky half volley. And the end goal, pressure on and waiting to see what happens with the footballers. Hopwani in the end, falls to push it dead. Liking the work and the structure of the last play options here of the Kiwis. A couple of times in the first half, it was Britton Nakora who put a little kick into the end goal area, the second rower. And here they shifted to the left hand side, and Kenny Bromwich just discovers he's got a little kicking game as well. Lovely weighted kick. Really testing the edges and giving Sean Johnson the ability to actually run and shift the ball on the last. It's a couple of deft little kicks from the second rowers. A time around Bromwich and in the first half it's only caught to do the same. It's uh, very good to have the back rowers with different strings to their bow. We go sideline with Monty Beaufort. Absolutely. Put the Kiwis through a pair of multiple sets back to back on their lines, come back and build some pressure themselves. It's a real transitional mindset that they've got to get right for this uh Matematonga site. Let's see what they've got here defensively. But uh, how great Picked up as a young rugby union player by Noel Cleal for the Manly Club soon after to the Roosters. But what a colossus he has been in the last decade or so. What a hard race. And this is Jaron Hughes trying to weave some magic. Look out for him and he makes it look easy. Jaron Hughes, he hasn't been on long, but he stings the Tongan squad with a try. What I like about the style of play of Jerome Hughes and the likes, and even Brandon Smith. If there's an opportunity in front of him, they'll just take it. And this is exactly what he does. There's massive shape, and it's deep out to the right. So he runs, waiting for someone to come. Have a look at this. There, he's waiting for something to happen. And what's happened is, he's found a fairly lazy D-line in Tonga, and just decided he'll squeeze himself through it. To beat a Pangai Jr. And John Asiata should have done better than that. He did so many things wrong. He jumped out dummy half. He put the ball. He tucked it under his wing straight away. Didn't even show. He had no subtlety at all. But the speed, the want, the intent from this guy. We all said, what's he going to be like coming off the bench? Big reps on him from Maguire, from Madge. I tell you what, it's exciting times for this Kiwi. And you can get a guy like this coming out, backing up what Brandon Smith has done out of dummy half. 
speed is something you can't coach and plenty of it then as well as intent well i'll be celebrating wellington the harbour city eagles where he played his junior footy the 24 year old i mean no one replaces someone like billy slater for jerome hughes He's sort of an on the ball footballer and he's created a different style of fullback play in melbourne this year this looks pretty solid off the boot having a good day just one hitting the post it's nathan Kalis and the great stacy jones in the box alongside michael mcguire not many smiles up there chuck there should be some smiles motu tony perhaps looking in the administrative side motu tony uh, kiwi standoff Time you run. terrific career you in england to get back to the restart tonga would work to do Tries to Smith, two to Johnson, one now to Fergus Arshek, one to Hughes. It's a 28 4 scoreline, pretty healthy here for Maguire and the New Zealand Kiwis. Jason now! We're three boys in hole now, right here. Go two. Hello, oh, Hargraves. Three boys, go three. Fisher Harris into the mix as well. Boys, Distinctive right footwork. Can, Two of us a shack. The bounce, the bounce, followed by another one. It's a little shimmy before it hits the defensive line, doesn't he? Nice and weighted ball from Johnson across the knee corner. Quick play of the ball, which is Everyone's more good. good second row play. Up it goes. Pressure at the back. Off Wadi. Good. And two toes. Made a couple of mistakes. Daniel. Not enough ball, really. Such a solid player, isn't he? Really Hopawato. Hardly ever makes a mistake. His numbers are always rock solid. Struggling in a Bulldogs outfit that really having a pretty ordinary 2019. Hopawato does his best week in and week out. Okay, Arvo plays with a lot of heart, flicks it up for Lolo here. The man we've just been speaking of as well, getting another touch. He's had 18 hit ups so far. Fullback. Lolo here with a bit of midfield up and under, allowed to bounce and then to Lolo here. It's pushed over to the right wing, but it has gone forward. And ben Cummins is right on it. It's not too sure what Tui Lolo here was trying to do here. Midfield bomb. No one wanted a bar of it. Benji Marshall even lets it yeah, bounce. Could have gone anywhere. Last tackle, forward pass. Mark is it? Mate, 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 on the side, you've got to spot Isaac. up Jerome Hughes. Hey. It's unfamiliar territory defending the middle of the park, and if you've been watching him, he has been Just struggling right with it. He's not the biggest guy. Try He's not out. used to being there. Wonderful with the ball in hand, but defensively, I Isaac. think Tonga I'll can really on. cause some problems if the they run at him. Yeah, I didn't hear much. Well, with the wonderful support okay. that they've got here, just well, on 15 to play. You have to do red and watch. Stay focused. The cause wasn't helped by the tries scored soon after the break, after Brandon Smith made that wonderful break. Ball off the pads and two of us are Sheik able to get his hands to it. Look out, Manu. It's cut up. Come together now. 40 metres out from the try line. I think they've got plenty of tries left in here. James Fisher Harris. Pride of North Hokianga, Pangaru, Broadwood, born in Kohu Kohu. I'll be wrapped to see him again in the black and white jersey as we see Johnson feed on to Bromwich on the far side. At scrambling defence, kicks Kenny at bay. Stags working hard on his opposite number, Masters. Speaking of Masters, masterful strokes coming in and how about the hit there from Tomalolo solid the crowd goes up that's how we always interpret Celebi watch the inside moment. ball now late in the game yeah, but he's not the ball down. players wanting to go one direction and then coming back against the grain and going the other Tomalolo lines up Isan Masters and says gotcha pretty clean shot Tony Staggs comes over and Rubs a little bit of salt into the wound. That's how we always do a C1. 
He's done a good job on Talmalolo today. I mean, run meters to keep him under 100 in any game is a master stroke. And he clocks up a good 200 plus for the Cowboys. Certainly great to see international ball back here playing with the intensity, the passion that we witnessed here tonight and continue to witness. The pass has gone back. Martin is the Lesniak. Cleans up the spoils. Rolls to his feet. Puts another challenge on. The skipper. Grasped. Ten out from the trial line. And we have for Manu. Manu thinks it's a touch for himself, but he makes it his own. Joseph Manu. The pride of Tokoror is in the score. Just 22 years of age, Joseph Manu. He's got a really big frame on him, Joseph Manu. He's quite imposing as a human being. Stand him next to Isaac Liu. And there's not too much between them. Really powerfully built. Good speed, good power. Just tucks it and drives straight between his Roosters teammate, CLC Watakiaho. He's had a massive game, hasn't had a breather. He's done a straight 70. And again, just like Jerome Hughes, deciding to back himself and run. Why would you not back yourself if you were so athletic and an X factor that Joseph Manu possesses? Geez, the speed off the mark. He's a big man, very big man, as big as Jared Wadia Hargreaves. It was a slip from his Roosters teammate in Tokiaho. It's going to be a very hard stopping from there. Joseph Manu, a man on the edge with athletic ability, frightening. Coach Wolf will be disappointed with the last two tries scored. They were one-out runs and uh, quite obviously a tiring defence. This is where runners like Hughes and Tamanu were most dangerous. He's got so a really composed side of Michael Maguire. There's three back rowers, Lee Yu, Nakora and Bromwich are all going to play 80 minutes, which means he can rotate his front rowers around in a pretty ordered, ordered fashion as against Tonga, they had to rotate their forward pack a little differently. But I know some Kiwi supporters will be ecstatic, but those who are hoping to see a solid boost to the international potential of teams. We're disappointed to see at this stage a 30-point ball game, but credit to the Kiwis, up 16-4 at the break. Going on with it with three uh, two tries here in the second half. Try score the receiver as well. I'm not sure that the Red Sea would be pleased to see another try. Young athletes that they love. See what? Come on, Tatili, make it here, mate. Hold here, hold. The support, the pride, passion, and patriotism. A lesson for us all as sports supporters. He's been good today. Asafa Solomona off the bench, just clipped up. 100 metres of 12 carries. You can see in the huckle as well, you know, he had a really solid attitude coming into the fixture this evening. 32 metres out, the Kiwi seam, like they're not finished. Marshall launches it high and Hopwati skillfully takes it in for Tonga. Here it is, boys, hold here. Go, how to play one. Good kick here, Benji Marshall. The oh, tour has been quiet in the now. second half. This is Tony Staggs. You sense that Larkin is a Lesniak captain on paper. But really, he is mindful too of the experience his tour kind of has. He's 23, Dallin. 34, Benji. Saliva Havili back out there. Well, I think now. I think they've missed Saliba. He's found some real form, hasn't he? Like Saliba Havili in the Canberra uh, jumper. Three. This is the Oceana Cup, which is up for grabs here this evening. Yeah, right in the middle there, so they might. It's nice, isn't it? Very modern day. This is what perhaps was missing. At stages, now listen to the crowd sing this beautiful hymn of unity. 
to win people win or lose. Watch the players respond to now. Watch them lift ever so slightly. Flags are flying. Fans are singing. And Sheck is dancing and threatening. Wouldn't mind being a red and white flag seller in Auckland over the past couple of weeks. He'll be driving around in a limo. There's Hughes, look out. They're not done with yet, the Kiwis. 34 to 4. More to come. Benji. No look passing again. The door gets shut by Domalolo. Kenny Bromwich is having an outstanding game, Kenny. Short side run, Nelson's over, but can he get it down? The answer is no. And when one threatening wave arrives, it will be quickly followed by another. As Johnson gets hold of it, he looks to put it through. Hapwani gets over the ball, away from one. Great effort here from the Kiwis. Dubow underutilized. Isaac! Johnson. Proud to be back in the jersey. The fans too will be pleased at his form on show here at Mount Smart. Tuponua. Lovely run. Superb athleticism. 15 metres out, needs a quick play of the ball, delivered up, it's out to Lolo here, he'll push it wide, they've got the numbers, Jason on the wind-up, here's Tokaya! Oh! He's in the score under the posts! Tama Lolo gave him a pearl up! They found their voice again, haven't they, Tonga? A lovely run from Satili Tupanua. Stole some metres right through the middle of the field. And then Jason Taumalolo turns into ball player to put Seal Siwa Takiaho in a massive hole. This is the run that started it all. Bromwich comes up with a miss, and then off he goes. Tuivasa Shek to beat, a little bit of a shimmy. Rogers up to the task. And then Lolo here fires a ball to Taumalolo. And did you say no look pass from Benji Marshall? Tamalolo says, I can do that too. Deserves to try this man here. Seal Siwa Takiaho. Decides he'll kick the goal as well. Well, as a retreating defensive line, when you see two big men like that come out to the middle, middle Tamalolo Takiaho. Wow. Beautiful slide of hand. The no look, short ball. Great line. How do you stop it? The answer is you don't. 19 carries, 130 metres. He has been superb, hasn't he? And a team that won't come away with the spoils today, but he can't be dismissed for not having put his hand up. Ridden knee quarter would have loved his game too, I'm sure. Didn't get on to late in the piece, James Fisher Harris, one of the top tacklers in the NRL. 23,500 people at Mount Smart Stadium, I can tell you, Dale. It's like it's 43, isn't it? That's just fantastic scenes. Wherever you are across the world looking here, take your hat off to Tonga and their amazing band of supporters, the Red Sea, they call them. It's been an absolute pleasure to watch them at work here, supporting them in. Brandon Smith back onto the football field. Last five minutes and deserves to finish the game off as well. He's been so instrumental in it. Fisher Harris, tap and go. Havili wants to go. He's halfway to the try line. Yeah, just in front of him. It's all back to the side. Shaq says, Sorry, there's a bike in front of you, mate. There's a bike just in front of you. All right, stay behind. Time back on. They do want to get another try. That plenty of ball. 50-50 possession. Completely 85% with that now. ball in, in hand. New Zealand have made 40 extra tackles as well. 
James off. There's been 20 and off lines. I'm not doing that. As you can two. see, the score line is still well and truly in favour of the opponents. Let's see if there's something else in store. Tom and Proud will get him behind. That's a fantastic conclusion here. And for the last five minutes of the Oceania Cup clash, Peter Ponglai has put on his back 15 out. 20 in. And the Western touchline, little offload for Noah Black. Showing some stepping that. Running back to what I'd be proud of. Peter Ponglai gets it on two for Noah Black. The last wall of black and white denies him. But he was oh God. so close. Havili over the top. It's Tobalolo. He'll flick it back oh, the back the door. But Taka Aho has kick. it. He knows it's the last tackle. He's looking for Dupont oh, who comes at it. He's a chance. He's given himself a chance. I'm going to check my twice. Yep. They've really highlighted Cheers. this right edge of the Kiwis. Okay, we're going to go back. The attacking tackle one. Tackle one. weapon in the Open air that is Daniel Tupo. Can you confirm that uh, Tom and knock that ball on Daniel Tupo, please? Looks like he's got and a little bit of a hand to it. He's on side, is kick he? First, thanks. I've got to say, Daniel Tupo is really really on side kick chase, playing onto this point. And John so Asiata has come up course. with some pretty handy kicks this evening. Who does that football come off? Just something tight on that contest. So that's Dallin Watane Zelezniak, and he bats it back. Good another angle. So it doesn't Looks seem to be to back touch off Dallin Watane Zelezniak at this stage. And he's like a big giraffe, isn't he, Daniel Tupo? He doesn't have control of that football, which the he needs to again, have nice and tight. Nice before and he grounds it. Can we have that look very slowly? Thanks, Rob. So you need to actually so slow have this control contest and then we'll go to the camera of the football shot again. before you ground it. So Ball was knocked backwards by Dallin Wittini Zelezniak. Well, we're listening in to the bunker as well. I mean, if you judge it by the crowd's reaction, we try every time. And grounded in the in goal. We have a decision. And I guess it'll be a popular decision oh, here. Mate, you win. Well, let the sound effects tell the tale. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I've got my earmuffs on down here, or my headphones, I should say, and I tell you what, it was deafening through that. The sea of red, very vocal. I'm sure you could hear it up there in the heavens where you're nice and comforted in the security of a covered roof, guys. When you support a team like you do, then we see here, well, you're entitled to get a couple of things go your way. I thought it was Tui Lolo here with the kick, but we've just been giving Seal Siwa Takiaho a massive rap. It's actually the big front row showing a kicking game. Yeah, how good's he been today? Tokyo Horn has been massive. You wanna, 28 other. tackles, 19 carries for 127 metres, plus a kicking game to boot, if you can use that expression. He's been awesome. And one other player has had more carries with the football today than Tio Siwa Takiaho. And that's the custodian at the back that is. William Hopawata. I love that the Tongan crowd, and many of them refer to themselves as, as Tiwis because the Tongan Kiwis. <laughs> nice. First Tiwi. I've heard of that one. Yeah. You heard it here. They're all over the place, Tiwis. Yeah, as I mentioned at the start of our broadcast, it is the Māori New Year. Today coincides with the winter solstice, a time of refreshing, of being very conscious of the relationships that make life worth living. And while they might not have won on the scoreboard, they've won the hearts once again. The sporting public of New Zealand. And down that right hand side, Ben Cummins has called it back. We're playing on. Feels like a game of backyard footy at the moment. Where, where are we, Chiefs? About 20, 22. 
They had good shape here, Tonga, to play out the back. Four pass there. Pulled up on a forward pass. A pretty good read out on the edge there by that man on screen, Ken Mamalo. Comes on and puts some pressure on the guys to play. Benji Marshall with a breather. He's had a good game. Oh, good on you, Benji. He's loved this week, Benji Marshall. Welcome Everything home, Benji. About it. It's so fantastic. He'll be feeling a buzz. Have a look at this crowd. And that's the thing about them. They might not have won it, but by crikey, they know how to have fun. And it's been fun to call the footy as well, I can tell you that. They've been inspiring us all. The Red Sea. Are we done? Is there another turn here, DJ? It's coming down. Five tries to the Kiwis, and now three to Donga. Close. Bring it up. Go three. Knock on. Well, that we. Let's have another look here. Sir Peter Leach. Benji's wife Zoe, I'm assuming, and their little bubba. Little moldy kid from Fakatani, that's what I'll call it. Stand up, Tonga. And Sir Peter Leach. Time off. You right, Brandon? Yeah, Brandon Smith back on. Here we are. They might put on some extra ferries to Waiheke Island. Had a few issues of late. Brandon Smith. Okay. Stood Better up to be clear. counted. John. Scored Two early mate. in the 11th minute. Johnson with two. Leave the last clear, 10 before in. the break. 16-4 Kiwis with one try to Cutter. After 20, he's got the ball now. We're in the last minute. After the break. Two of us are shit credited with a try that bounced off the pads. Hughes and Manu cross it and what could be considered somewhat solo efforts. And then two fine tries to Tokaho Dubo as well. Still a decent win here as well for Michael Maguire, who will return to NRL duties next week. He certainly enjoyed the camp this week, as the Tongan players have as well. And they've had a good battle out there, Katoni Staggs and Isan Masters, been going at each other. Well, it's been a heck of a game. What a great celebration of rugby league it has been. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. The Kiwi fans certainly have. The Tongan fans, even though they haven't won, they've enjoyed themselves as well. And then that has been an inspiration. There's the Huda. Oceania Cup. New Zealand win it at Mount Smart. 34, Tonga 14. Well, I tell you what, emotions are running high, as they should. Britain knee quarter. He has been terrific here. The Tongan team, well, they can only think of what might have been. But New Zealand wanted it more. Experience told in the end. And Tonga, brave, but ultimately unsuccessful here at New Zealand. They're able to look at a decent scoreline, perhaps one that will push to the shadows their loss two years ago in Hamilton. Let's go down to Levina, and she has the New Zealand skipper. A 20-point victory against a formidable opposition. What pleased you most as captain? Um, I think our, our defence um, in that second half when we were on our line and, and ding up all those sets, I think that was a, a massive positive we could take out of the game and it went a long way to winning this game. The last time you played Tonga, there was an amazing comeback. Not so tonight. What did the coach say at halftime? Let's keep rolling, keep doing what we're doing. And I mean, our defence was what was going well. So he just kept said, kept, keep going with the defence. And sure enough, we did. And it, and it came out with the result. How was the build-up and the preparation for the Kiwis gearing up for this international clash? Oh, it's been massive. Uh, we've been preparing for this since last year, the first game. So, um, and we'll keep preparing. Um, we've got big things ahead of us. And, if we can keep doing what we're doing, we're on the right path. Defensively, you said you were impressed. And in attack, were the structures right for you tonight? Yeah, in, in parts, of, yeah, it was very positive in defence. There was a few times towards the end of the game there, we sort of um, we went off a bit. But, um, I mean, 
at the end of the day, we, we won, and, and uh, that's all, all that matters. How does Sean Johnson make it look so easy to score a try? Oh, he's, yeah, he's a freak. He's, uh, um, yeah, he's, it's really nice to have him in our team, and yeah, he's a really good bloke, so we're lucky to have him. Finally, how does it feel to be back in the black jersey for this occasion? Yeah, it's awesome. You never, you never know when it's going to be your last chance, so you've got to take it with uh, both hands and uh, take your opportunity. And, um, and yeah, it's, it's awesome to be here. Thanks for your time. Sweet. Thank you very much. Jason, the, the Kiwis were too strong tonight. Where did they win the match? Uh, you might want to say hello to a couple of fans. Uh, obviously, well, first of all, uh, thank, thank you to the man above uh, for obviously bringing um, us boys together and uh, to represent our country. And um, you know, second of all, um, Thank you to everyone who turned up tonight. And obviously, we knew we were going to have a, a great supporter base here in Auckland, but uh, you know, unfortunately, we couldn't get the result. Um, obviously, New Zealand played a great game. Uh, you know, they really took us on through the middle there and um, moved us around. But uh, you know, obviously, when you got guys like Benji and Sean Johnson leading the team around, you can't uh, give them too much time, which we did. So, uh, made it hard for ourselves the first half there, uh, letting them score a few points, but. Uh, you know, and saying that the boys done well to fight back to him. Why was it so hard to shut those players down? Just couldn't tackle them, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, obviously, uh, you know, they had their big guys getting their momentum and uh, laying a good platform for them. So uh, they've done a good job there, which allowed them to, uh, you know, Benji and Sean, Shawnee to get um, some time. So yeah. for, for us as spectators, it was a tremendous spectacle. What's it like as a player to be out there in that jersey? surrounded by these fans? Uh, obviously, words can't describe, you know, uh, putting on, you know, uh, this red and white jersey. Uh, likewise, for the boys play, wearing black and white. Uh, it's always a great opportunity uh, for anyone to represent their country, and for us, this country or country heritage, and uh, for us to do it back here at uh, Auckland in front of uh, an amazing crowd is, um, you know, it's, it's nothing less of amazing. So, a uh, big thank you to everyone. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Well, there we are from above. The fans will leave, but the memories will not. It was a celebration of sport and a magnificent spectacle as Maguire comes together to hookers uh, as well. Both played strongly and plenty to inspire us to look forward to the international game in years to come. We're not finished here. Let's go back down to Levina for more reactions from this test match. Benji Marshall, what an evening for you. It started with the tear of an anthem. You led the hucker. You managed to play for a side that was victorious. What was going through your mind throughout the whole match from beginning to end? Oh, to be honest, I was just um, very humbled to be back in this arena, you know. Um, obviously, being out for seven years, just to get this opportunity was a dream come true for me, you know. So, um, and to have this fella here just meant a lot, yeah. It must mean the world to you to have Little Fox and all of your family here supporting you. I think we could hear the cheers from Fakatane <laughs> as you ran out. What did you feel like when, when the anthem was sung and, and you were very emotional? Yeah, I, I don't know. I just let it all go, I suppose. Um, thought about my grandfather, this guy. You know, it's the first time he's seen me in a Kiwis jumper. So just knowing that um, if this is my last game for the Kiwis, that the bro here got to see it. And, um, you know, just very, very humbled to be able to have that. How did you feel when you received the call to say, we need you to don the black and white? Oh, I just couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, I was... I was actually very, like, I thought I'd done a lot of hard work to get in this position, and um, to get that call meant a lot to me, you know, and I just made the most of the week and try to keep up with these young fellas, so, uh, like I said, just really humbled. That's the first time you and Sean Johnson have played together since he debuted in 2012. Did you enjoy that combination? I did. Um, early in the week, I just made a point to Sean that I thought his best asset was running the ball, and... Um, just try to get it to him a bit wider off the rock and make them have to chase him, you know. We know what he can do with the ball, so... Show them your pukana, son. Pukana? Pukana. Is she your pukana, Fox? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Thanks, Benji. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Cheers. Well, it's great to see him so proud of donning the black jersey again. We've witnessed the magic here tonight. Magic on the field.
But Magic has relationships have been strengthened. Magic has we've been reminded of what a small, proud Pacifica nation can bring to the international sporting arena. Hats off to Tonga. Hats off to the Kiwis. It's been a magic spectacle. 34-14. We're going to take a break, but we're not finished here. More post-match reviews are coming. You're watching International Rugby League right here on Sky Sport. The Kiwis successfully opened their account in the Oceania Cup for 2019. They beat Tonga 34-14 and a little bit of redemption from their November 11, 2017 loss in the World Cup. And the young and the old, the master and his sometimes things, the eternal apprentice. And Dallin Watney-Zeleknek receives the Sir Peter Leach Trophy, which is competed for every time New Zealand and Tonga meet. And you couldn't find a happier man than Sir Peter Leach. He just lives and breathes and bleeds the Kiwis. Monty Beetham joins you. Monty, you're on sideline. You were like us. We had a privileged view of being at ground level, but that was a brutal test. I was exceptional uh, to be there watching it and, and hearing the crowd react and then the players react as a result of that. And the, the fortitude that the Kiwis showed quite often was brilliant to see. Yeah, we'll take a close look at that defense. But what stood out for you apart from that, Louis? Just the toughness of the Kiwis tonight. You know, we spoke about their D, but the class of the, the, the halves really controlled. I thought that was probably the difference between the two teams. You know, Tonga really lacked that control where they put the ball, whereas the Kiwis, um, Marshall and, and Johnson, really controlled that for the Kiwis, I thought. Louis? Yeah, the physicality of the game was massive. Uh, you know, I hope Tonga ain't too hard on themselves. They, you know, they really just didn't control the ruck enough, and hence the Kiwis were able to, you know, Smith getting out of dummy half, Manu got out of dummy half and scored. They just didn't control the ruck like, you know, they'll kick themselves for that, but I hope they don't kick themselves too much. Well, I don't think they, they should because yeah. there are many times and they were able to get the offload out of the tackle on many, many occasions. I thought, hang on, if, the, if this you convert this, Kiwis are in trouble. Yeah, I think that's how the points don't scare them. They can score points at will, and with the offloading ability, it makes them a fierce side to play against. All right, one man uh, puts smiles on everybody's face with a double. That's Sean Johnson. <laughs> The prodigal son has returned to Mount Smart Stadium and has two tries beside his name. In fact, nearly three, I think. <laughs> Pretty close. Pretty close, but uh, I think Rog, Rog won the paper scissors right there, so it's all his. <laughs> How did it feel to be back in the black jersey and also playing here at Mount Smart? Oh, yeah, it's a good feeling. Um, never take, you know, wearing this jersey for granted and, um, you know, with the calibre of players we've got in the New Zealand system at the moment, you know, very lucky to get the opportunity. So back at Mount Smart as well. Um, awesome atmosphere, awesome crowd. So, yeah, all around good night. First time you've played with Benji in the black jersey since you debuted in 2012. What was that like for you? Yeah, it's unreal, unreal. He brings so much confidence uh, to the group, you know. He's been there, done that. He understands, understands the game really well and that rubs off on the people around him. So uh, he's been awesome all week and uh, awesome to see him back, back in this jersey. At halftime, did you think 12 points would be enough? Because you know what Tonga's like, they come back. No, nah, no, we didn't, not at all. Um, mate, they're, they're a side that throw the footy around, as you see. Um, they don't score tries off set shape, they score tries off brute force and offload. So we knew we were going to have to be on defence with that second half and we did a pretty good job, a couple of mishaps, but uh, overall I think we'll be pretty happy with that. There are a couple of players out there that help make your game better. Brandon yeah. Smith could be one of them. Yep, yeah, no, he was unreal tonight I thought the fours gave him a really good platform you know they got he got out over the ad line and uh, ran so um, that's what we need him to do and we just need to get around him Sean Johnson it's great to have you back even yeah. for a little bit and we'll see you in a month in Wellington eh? oh yeah I can't wait for that thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> yes of course the Sharkies play the Warriors in Wellington on a Friday night July 19 as uh, Solomon Carter and his family just uh, soak up the atmosphere stick around folks there's still more to come as we break this one down New Zealand 34 Tonga 14 live on Prime and Sky take to center stage in Perth where everything is on the line state of origin Sunday live Sky Sport 3 coverage brought to you by Bunnings Warehouse to define your rule you must defy your enemy He's out of trouble. Deep, deep trouble. an explosive weight division as the welterweights collide 
Eight men, only one king will reign. And it's over. An epic battle for survival. Everything on the line. Wildlife King in the Ring, June 29, live on Sky Sports. With the seasons changing, we're hitting indoors. So get organized with your TV. With the Sky TV Guide app, you can keep on top of all your favorite shows. With the Sky Guide showing all our channels for up to 28 days of programming. And for my Sky customers, with remote recording, you'll never miss a show again. Recording an entire season from anywhere you like will have all your favorites lined up. So put on something warm and download the Sky TV Guide app from Google Play or the App Store today. Welcome to the Twist and Turns. 2019 is underway! Of Superbikes. Jonathan Ray, stand up and take a bow. Sprint to the right, disaster! Bautista has decimated the field. Heart-stopping spectacle. World Superbikes, live on Sky Sport. Tongan fans now exit Rugby League HQ, Mount Smart Stadium on a wonderful Saturday night where the Kiwis have trumped 34-14 and they, they made it the double too because the Kiwi Ferns won 46-8 against Fitu Samoa earlier in the night and the Hibiscus Coast Raiders won here on the day as well and they go up in the Fox. So it's been a big old day for the Sky Rugby League team. Michael McGuire said to me in the tunnel uh, well before the, the game, he, he said the most encouraging thing, Monty, about this Kiwis time team this week, they'd been away for six weeks a long time ago last mm. year, how quickly they got themselves into gear and on point. Yeah, exactly right. But I, I think also from the fact they got Roger Tuivasa-Shek for the first time, he sees what he's like. Tell him what he's is, is the captain. That uh, I, that surprised me, but Could that's you, fantastic yeah. going forward as being the youngest guy. Yeah, can I just suggest that maybe make, keeping Dallin as the captain, just took all that pressure off Roger, just going to do what you do better. Yeah, just free the shackles a little bit. Like, but getting back to coming into camp, I've been in the position before where you come in, everything seems a bit rushed. But tonight, I thought the key was real classy, you know. It probably coincides having someone that's experienced like Benji, who kind of freed up Sean, and, and Sean tonight was some of the best footies played in the Kiwi jump for a while. I think also, you, you know, half the team, weight of the team, come out of the grand final just from last year, the Roosters and the Storm, and you know, and they really stood up. And even on the Tongan side, you know, you look, Satili Tupanu, Tupanua makes the sure. split, and it goes out, and Taukiaho yeah. scores. Taukiaho does the kick. You know, across the Tupo. You know, the, i just got to give a plug to the Roosters in the Storm, their system. They're, they're bringing up some crazy. Hey, let's players. not forget the pain of what happened last time. This was mm. a revenge match. This is what, hey, listen, uh, you're proud of that black jumper. Let's go out there and show this yeah. rear tide you can't get back to back. And, and I thought yeah. the, the words given by Benji were just the humbleness and the gratefulness for being able to pull on that jumper that he has worn so proudly before. Pretty good uh, second half. I tell you what, 16 4 at half time for the Kiwis, and they uh, come out again. And wow, there was some, some very good play. I mean, uh, Brandon Smith, what do you say about Brandon Smith? This, this kid is just a lightning bolt. And whose try was this, Monty? Oh, that is Tui Vasa-Shek. Although that the paper rocks, it's, it's without a doubt that he got the ball at the back of the boot. It was, uh, you know, it was obstructed by the boot. But this kid, he started it all. He was amazing for me tonight. The, the, the fact that he doesn't play in the number nine jersey all year, starts a game and plays so well. And then you get a guy like Jerome Hughes, who was on debut, and, and this was poor goal line defence. Yeah, it really summed up the the second half for for Tonga. You know, Jerome Hughes came on, came in a dummy half. You know, had that line up to the left hand side and took it himself, and his rugby league instincts took over. Uh, just so good, and you can just see how tight this team is. Again, poor goal line D, Manu. Yeah, mentioned it before, like the marker system and A system from Tonga, they really uh, let themselves down in that area. Uh, Rooster player there, you know, what a talent. Yes, the game's sealed there, but they are not done with. And back come Tonga. This kid, now the Roosters, Tupanuia. I mean, he, he is just incredibly pretty good. But, you know, they, they get the job done in Tokyo with the kick. Yeah, what a what a, what a, what a ball there for Tamalolo. Oh, yeah. So Takiaho to score that try. But Tipanua set, set it up there. And there was Takiaho, straight, straight line through there. As a retreating defensive line under fatigue, when you've got two big men like that who at a dime can just score points, that's crazy. Beautiful deep pass. This is what I was going, I jumped ahead again, but uh, but good on Manu, also, should I say, excuse me, uh, Tupo for stretching out and saying it's not over till it's over. 
Yeah, well, I like what the what the what the bunker did too. They allowed Tupo to the, actually ground it, and we've seen a few of them in the last few weeks being called no tries. But good to see it open there. Let's take a look at the numbers, shall we? Completion rates are pretty good for the Tongas. Not so great in many ways for the Kiwis. And the offloads, 26-6 to Tonga. 26 offloads. Look at the run meters. But the most important score here is the Kiwis get the job done. The final score on this one, 34-14 Kiwis. And we did suggest too that the amount of tackling that the Kiwis have done at half time with over 60 behind and yet they, they guess they caught, scored more sorry they affected more tackles but again resilience the ability because those tongs were battering rams well it's the first thing they said after the game when they spoke to the captain you know it was about their defense and their will to compete for one another and you know that's as good as I've seen a Kiwi team defend because these Tongan boys are hard yeah, to tackle. The 60 extra tackles aren't against normal people. They're <laughs> against absolute brutes of yeah. men that come through. And, and, and the aggression that it takes to stop them and energy is, is huge. So they should be noted for that. Can I ask a question of you, Louis? And you guys can respond to this one. Bringing Benji back in seven, seven years after he last played. How smart a play was that? Even if even if he wasn't necessarily the first choice, but he was for that spot. Yeah, I think it's outstanding. You know, we, we know what he brings to the Kiwi jump and the passion that he's had for the last few years to get back into this team. And we spoke about the short turnaround earlier in the week, uh, earlier in, in the set before. And just having someone like him kind of calls everyone's heads and, you know, he took it upon himself to make sure Sean ran the ball. We saw a result of that tonight. Yeah, it was, it was really nice to hear him say, I spoke, I spoke to Sean and said, you're better at doing this, so I'm going to give you the opportunity to do that. One man that took the opportunity with both hands too was Jerome Hughes. On debut for the Kiwis, what a spectacular match to be on debut. Talk me through it. Oh, it was crazy. Uh, the emotions and that coming um, through the week and that, it was just crazy. And uh, to get a good one over a good Tongan team was, uh, you know, it's an awesome experience for myself. What does it feel like to be in the black and white jersey? Most of us will never know. Oh, words can't describe it. I was, I've been trying to describe it to my family the whole the whole week. And, and I've, I've wanted to do this since I was a young kid. And uh, yeah, words can't. It's just all emotion at the moment. The anticipation of taking on Tonga it must be so difficult being such an ominous opposition. Yep. How did it feel all week knowing you were going to come up against some of the toughest players in the game? Yeah, I knew it was going to be tough and especially with the great crowd they get. Um, you know, I knew we had to, you know, play well to beat this team and I thought, you know, our starters did, a, did an awesome job and, you know, uh, we just, you know, ended up grinding it out and getting a good win. It's a 17-man game. What do you think of the bench players? Yeah, uh, the bench players were pretty good. Um, you know, the boys come on and sort of held that, um, I guess, the score scoreboard that we had, and I think we let in a few tries at the end there, and, uh, yeah, we're not happy with that, but uh, I think uh, all 17 went really well. Onwards and upwards, where to for the Kiwis now? Yeah, um, you know, we're just trying to get better uh, every time we play. Uh, you know, we're not together uh, much, but when we do get together, we're just trying to build on what we have at the moment. Congratulations, great debut. Thank you very much. Got to be good when you get a uh, try on debut as uh, David Fusatua just gives the Tongan fans a real treat. The old selfie, they're good at that one, but they're just giving back, and that's the most important thing. I think the other thing that stood out too was when the Kiwis were in front, they took the Tongans out of the equation. The crowd went, it was like, oh, where are we? Oh, is this Mount Smart? Because it was dead quiet. He talked about a big job and a 17-man effort. Take a look at this defensive set that they did uh, early in the second half, and this spoke volumes, Bluey, about how well their D was. It certainly is, because this is a really important part of the game where they had to really D up and, you know, make the Tongans really work hard. You know, the Kiwis lost a penalty count 8-1, to one, you know, and that's all in defence. It shows you that they're willing to give away a penalties just to keep, to keep their defence going. Especially with big men like this. Like, there's a lot of good shape as well. They're piercing through the line, and the fact that they're keeping the ball alive, but yet the Kiwi Black Jews keep turning up. Numbers in the picture. That means that, uh, you know, you're on time to do a good job there. Yeah, and when they're offloading the ball at will like that, the, the Kiwi the Kiwi defence is still moving forward and pressing on the di on the on the attacking side. But, you know, as, as it summed up the Kiwis' performance tonight, scrambling, you know, one person drops off. It was real good team defence. Yeah, were you surprised at the amount of offloads that the Tongans affected? 26 offloads? Well, it's, it's hard to stop, especially when you're getting in later in the tackle count. I thought the Kiwis, in the early in the tackle count, they did really well at stopping those post-contact metres by getting the third man in around the legs and taking that away, which helped. Got to say one thing, though. 
defensive effort like this, Monty, and I know you're big on the, the, mental, the mental side of the game, that speaks an enormous amount about how tough the Kiwis were tonight. Absolutely. The fact that they wanted to turn up for each other, that was a great thing. But, you know, that was led by a guy that has been out of the jersey for seven years. He was crying to start this off. The emotion he showed was immense. And then he came up with two big uh, try-saving tackles on his line. That's how you lead the way. He's an old fella. But he's, <laughs> you, you, you tell mate. him he's, more than, he's older than 21. He's he not, is killing it. He's only 34. That's not old, mate. He's mm. only 34. Jason Tamalolo meeting the fans. Let's talk to another one of the real stars of this Tongan side. He's with the Lavina. A tough night in the office for Tonga. Uh, yeah, we, we knew it was going to be a tough night, especially against Kiwis. Um, we obviously got that win during the World Cup in um, Hamilton, and I knew they were going to come out tonight firing. Um, yeah, pretty disappointed with the result, but I'm um, looking full credit to the Kiwis in that. Defensively, it was tough. They had a couple of playmakers that just made it look easy to score points. Yeah, we, we tried working on defence during the week, um, especially when they have um, one of the best spines in the in the NRL. Um, but yeah, they, they scored on three tries in that as well, and um, even through me as well. So, but pretty disappointed in that. But um, look, pretty happy with the boys. What's it feel like donning the red jersey, surrounded by a sea of red? Yeah, it's always a great privilege putting on that red and black jersey. Um, look, we grateful for the fans that are here every um, you know every time we come to Auckland and play here so um, it's no better feeling I'm putting on this um, red and black jersey and representing them well done thank you <laughs> yeah, I gotta say it Manu in the background, that laugh continues yeah, to be yeah, you hear that, don't you? infectious <laughs> doesn't it but see what Takiaha when you talk about players and there's a, this young Tupania I mean this kid is going to be a super a rock star just the way he plays but Tokyaho ever since he's been at the Roosters his game's gone to another level it's, it's amazing that a man with that power um, can have such an engine on him uh, I mean he showed great signs when he was here at the club in under 19s and he only played the one game unfortunately he's the greatest one that got away but um, what a player yeah, you know who I was really, really impressed with tonight from the Kiwis is Isaac Liu. He really yeah. controlled that middle. Just his, just his late footwork at the line really troubled the tongue and got in between defenders. And he was a main reason why um, Brandon Smith was able to get out. Yeah, I was, I was quite surprised how late he brought on James Fisher-Harris. You know, we were talking last this time yeah. last, well, a couple of weeks ago with the Storm game, we're going, that Fisher-Harris, he's the one we want to go. He only got about 20 minutes playing. Yeah, he, well... You know, Isaac Liu was just going so well, I guess, you know. And when, you, when you're coaching, you, 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 you've got your plan, but sometimes you just put it on hold if somebody's just really sparking up and doing the job. All right, let's hear from another one of the big boys up front, and he's one of the, one of the funniest guys, too. Here's uh, Jared. How good does it feel to be a Kiwi Rugby League player tonight? Yeah, proud. Really proud, obviously. Um, hell of a turnout. Hell of a lot of Tongans, but... Um, <laughs> To all our supporters that showed up, uh, thank you. And um, yeah, it was was a was a game in the making. We've been waiting for a while, and um, really pleased that we got the result. Kiwis have a point to prove tonight. Oh yeah, obviously after 2017, um, we obviously wanted to play our style. There was a lot of emotion in the game, but um, it was a game we all wanted, and um, yeah, really really happy. The emotion started with the haka. We're also with the anthem. Went into the play. Tremendous amount of emotion. Yeah, absolutely. I think the emotion was still there at the 80th minute as well. So uh, it was a good battle in the middle. Um, some big boys there, but as I said before, really, uh, really, really pleased. Nice to play with Benji Marshall. It was. It's been a while. Um, one day the old legs are going. Uh, he's <laughs> icing up, but um, yeah, it really was. It was good to have him back in camp. Uh, it's been a while, but uh, he's done a good job. Where does, where does this compare, this black jersey compare with other representation that you've done and other jerseys what is this moment like for you oh this you know i'm i'm a proud kiwi um you know my mum's standing over there and, and to see her um cry at the start of the game it, it you know makes me feel proud and um to represent my family back home in australia uh this is what it's about it's a pinnacle for us and um this is what we want to put pride back in our new zealand jersey better go give your mum a cuddle yeah thank you very much cheers thanks guys we had the opportunity to chat to him earlier this week. He was on the Kiwi League show. Mm. And the one thing I said to him, I said, you know, I'm really happy that you're back because he was out of favour for a long time. And his form with the Roosters has just put him back where he should be. Don't forget, he hasn't played the last couple of weeks because he's been suspended. So to come up with a performance like that, you know, to set the tone against a, a really strong middle third from uh, this Mate Matonga side was, was inspirational <laughs> for, for the rest of the other side. I like what you call him. He's your alpha male. You, oh, you, 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 follow, you follow, <laughs> follow me, lad. Yeah, hey. you, you, you know, you got to have one on your team, don't you? You know, you've got to have a, a, a player in there that rattles 
people's cages. You know, this fella down there over the end there used to do it yeah. for the Warriors. And yeah. <laughs> don't look yeah. away. Where, where were we don't looking? look away. <laughs> I mean, but 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 it's it's good to see selectors realise that you know it may have been out of favour last time, but mm. you deserve and earn the right to be in that jumper. Yeah, well, he's he's, he's the leader of the pack and at the at the Roosters, you know, and he's the main man they go to 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 ask to go forward, and he's kind of made for games like these. You know, we look at the Fords that really um, in the Tongan side who, who they're the, the big powerful forwards and he was in there tonight meeting them mm. front on. The roommates have been good tonight. So the roommates and Brandon Smith and, uh, and obviously that man, Jared Wadia Hargroves, they room together. They love each other and they hate each other at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the true definition yeah. of a bromance? Well, keep yeah. those two together because they're a wonderful combination <laughs> for this Kiwi side. Around there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Courtney has uh, one member that is a familiar, knows this place pretty well. Here's Tui Lola here with Courtney. Well, Tui, 34-14, but you've got to be proud of the effort that was put out on the field tonight. Yeah, uh, it is very disappointing. Um, no, our fans turned up for us, and I think I'm kind of disappointed. You know, um, full credit to New Zealand, though. They turned up and performed. Um, you know, they played pretty well tonight, and, uh, you know, I give it to them. Um, but, yeah, just I'd like to thank our supporters. Um, our families that turned up and you know still hang around now, even though you know it's a bit disappointing uh, to grab a photo. So yeah. What's it like for you coming back to Mount Smart after playing over there in the UK Super League? Yeah, it was always good to come home. Uh, you know, I was looking forward to it. Uh, I know it was going to be. I knew it was going to be a tough challenge coming back to play against the Kiwis, but um, yeah, it wasn't our night tonight, and I know we'll bounce back from this. Um, you know, we've got a pretty good schedule this year for international, and uh, you know we can grow on this game. How important are these games for Tonga and also nations that aren't Tier 1 to get these games and this exposure? Yeah, it's massive. Um, it just shows how far we've come. Um, you know, we've got to keep building and keep getting better. Um, you know, each game we play and, um, you know, Samoa and them all pushing for top spots. It's going to be good um, when some people go back and do play for Samoa, like, like Martin Sapel. So, um, you know, it's gonna, international footy is going to be interesting in the next couple of years, really. Well, it's great to see you back here and good luck for the future. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks yes, you. yes, it is the Oceania Cup, which is putting not just uh, New Zealand on display, but the Pacific Nations and just took, take a look at the NRL and you see where the Pacific Nations bloody near own the whole thing anyway. So let's move on, shall we? Because the pre-game was the Kiwi Ferns against Fitu Samoa and what a performance by the Kiwi Ferns. The final score in this one, 46-8. And, well, Kiana Takarangi opened with a double and this was just good, sharp footy. And, Louis, we talked about this early on, about the way they are playing. And, of course, this honey hit me on your own try. It was a different sort of style of play, but it was effective and it was good to watch. Yeah, it was just such a class performance today from the Kiwi Ferns. I was really impressed with the skill level that they showed today. Um, the debutantes were great, and, and their bench too, the way that they came on and made an impact was outstanding. You mentioned class, Georgia Hale, class all over it. Fantastic play in the middle of the field, and also Buckle. Buckle was good. Aileen. Yes, Racine McGregor early. They got themselves back, and this is the 40th minute, uh, Billy Jean Ale, but really, they just, they struck, and some of the defense tonight, uh, today, that was in the afternoon, was pretty strong, and it was encouraging to watch, too, that they were willing to throw it around today, but it was all done sort of with 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 care. It was clinical. You know, they they really bent the middle, uh, playing off the dummy half. Gee, what about this? You know? <laughs> no perseverance. <laughs> yeah, it's just very uh, clinical, the way the Kiwis dissected the middle, got bored, and then... Played eyes up footy, Georgia Hale passed through the middle, got it to the halves, and they got it out wider. Nita Maynard just uh, kept on going. She found some poor goal line defence, scored the second to last run. Upy Nichols, who threw herself into everything today, had blood gushing at one stage, uh, was so, so strong. And the final score on this one, 46 points to eight. Yes, it's an emotional time, but the most important thing, as Alina Walton, the, the skipper said at the end of this, we're putting ourselves on the map and we're playing footy and they are playing good footy. Let's come get some response now uh, from the Kiwi Ferns camp. Here's Nita Maynard. An all-round impressive performance from the Kiwi Ferns here this evening at Mount Smart Stadium. How did you rate your teammates? Uh, I thought we dug deep, um, especially after the beginning of the second half. Uh, we got a bit complacent there at the start and then we um, managed to bring ourselves back together and finish strong. What has been the objective of Justin Morgan over the past eight weeks to get you guys ready for this international clash? Uh, building a good solid culture. So um, a lot of us, or not a, quite a few of us, are based over in Australia. So when we come in, we want to um, be welcomed and 
um, just feel, feel at home at, with the girls. Has it been difficult having players in Australia, in New Zealand, uh, new players to the team? Has that made it difficult to gel in preparation for this? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, most of us that's played over in Australia, we've already played together, so we've already got that, um, you know, that recognition of each other. So it's just been really good sliding in here with the girls. Everybody's always open, and we just really enjoy being in camp with the girls. You have a rugby background. You're now into rugby league, been playing rugby league for three years now. Do you have a favourite position? Uh, I really enjoy playing hooker, especially um, being out of create, out of dummy half. It's always awesome. Hats off to your teammates. Is there anyone in particular you'd like to give a shout out to from their performance tonight? I think um, across the board we've done really well, but Amber Hall, she was impact, she was amazing. I think she deserves um, you know, the player of the match for me. And you had an outstanding game, well done. Thank you very much. Winners are grinners, and inside, very lucky for you and us to see inside the Kiwis dressing room. Anderson hasn't happened in a long, long time. Okay, professional drums as well. I thought we were heading to We Will Rock You from Queen. How cool is that, eh? I thought it would be a bit of crowded house or something going on. <laughs> Not I, think was, uh, Peter Urlich, or I think Peter Ulich may have um, put that song together for them. He did that for the Warriors um, theme song, which came across in 2005, so I think that is a new one. Awesome. Oh, May they sing it oh, a Peter Ehrlich. Peter Ehrlich, the former dude. He does love his rugby league. He's always saying to us, can I please come on? No, Pete. Stick to music. You're good. All right, let's move on. Let's get inside the sheds. Well, Brendan, 34-14, how good was that? Ah, so good, you know. I'm just so grateful that the boys turned up today and uh, to play in front of a crowd like that, it's just uh, really, uh, I, don't know, I don't know how to explain it. I'm, I'm a bit shell-shocked at the moment. Speaking of turning up, you played brilliantly. You picked that ball up from about 35 metres out. What was going through your mind when you got that try? Uh, I, there was, I don't know what was going through my mind. I actually had no clue what I was doing. I was just running and seeing a bit of space. And, you know, it's just good that the forwards got me quick play the balls all day so I could do that sort of thing and Madge had the belief in me to, to do stuff like that. He told me, you know, just run when I can so I think I did that and, um, you know, we've played pretty well. <laughs> can you describe the intensity out there? Oh, it's it's crazy, you know, the Tongan fans were, were up by 34 points and they were still cheering well, as loud as possible so, um, you know, the crowd really got involved in uh, the amount of big boys that just kept coming at us was scary, but um, we've done a good job on them and I'm uh, just really proud of the boys. Well, you sure did. Congratulations. Enjoy the win. Yeah, thank you very much. Sort of player that I'm sure other players want to play with. Uh, Monty, I'll get you and Louis Fizz, former hookers, to talk about how much improvement have we, are we, can we see in this young man. He's got no right to do what he did tonight. He hasn't mm. played hooker all game, and the fact that he can play solid minutes and keep running the motor on this kid is exceptional. I love the fact he mentioned scared or big guy. He doesn't get scared. Absolute freak. I, I, I love him. Yeah, he's, he's just a real, real passionate rugby league player. He's someone that the Kiwis need in their team. And they talk about Cameron Smith retiring in the years to come in Melbourne. Well, I'm sure Craig Bellamy's licking his lips to get that kid in number nine. 125 metres run, 36 tackles, throw that in. You'd sign him every day of the week. Oh, certainly. He's learning from the best. And, the, you know, what's good about Smith is that not only is he quick getting out of dummy half, like he's really strong. You know, so you see him break a lot of tackles on the way to making his line breaks as he's well. He's also a talker too. You, mm. you, you notice him? He's a talker. He chips away, and I like those sort of um, players, and especially in the spine. And I, and I think he, he's, a, he's a great one. He's a bit of a pest too. Are we like know? pests. <laughs> 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 We're saying nothing. Let's move on, get back into the sheds with Courtney. Well, Britain, a debut. How good is that? Yeah, pretty good, eh? Dream come true, just to be around these type of players, um, people that I've looked up to growing up, and it's a dream come true, yeah. Did you feel a bit at home running outside Sean after playing with him at the Sharks? I oh, yeah, 100% just felt that, yeah, just normal, like um, at Cronulla, and yeah, it's just still a dream come true, yeah, playing alongside him, and yeah. What was it like taking on that Tongan forward pack because they kept coming off you? They coming off the back fence. Yeah, the first twenty was like, like it was, <laughs> it was too fast. And yeah, no, it was um, 
It's a bit good um, contact, good impact, and um, yes. And what's it like for you getting to play with all these players and putting the black jersey on? Oh yeah, like I said, it's still a dream come true. I'm still buzzing out that I got the opportunity to um, play with these fellas like Benji and all that that I've looked up to. Yeah. Any kind words about Sean back there? Oh, it, <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. Well, congratulations on your debut. Cheers, thank you for that. Britton Nakura on debut. Just a fine performance all around. Boys, we're just about to wrap it up. Uh, before we wrap it up, uh, there's plenty of footy on Sky Sport 4. We've got uh, Lebanon against Fiji, and then, of course, uh, a Samoa and PNG, which is another opening match in the Oceania Cup. And we're Samoa! Would you settle Sorry. down? Settle down. Samoa, Samoa. <laughs> oh, Samoa. here we go. Okay, it's been a long day, lads. Just your final thoughts on what we've seen today and the game of international rugby league. Just black. That's all I'm going to say, black. I'm proud uh, wow. that having worn the jersey before and seeing the, the pride that these players are showing in it and the power that Black uh, presented on the field in both games. Black. Yeah, Deep. Just like what Mon said, it's just proud to be part of today's game. You know, it's like something that's been in, in the pipeline for a while and it's good, it's good to see like a crowd like this. I haven't seen something like this in a long, long time. Well, what did you say? That, how excited were you before the match? Very, very excited. <laughs> no, you didn't say that. And, Coach, uh, you've led a Kiwis team. How, how does this day sort of compared to all the other days you've been involved? Well, it, it's just so massive. I mean, that was so physical out there. Um, you know, and like, I thought the Kiwis were outstanding. Well done to the Kiwis. You know, really, really proud. I'm um, sure all the past Kiwis, as these two have said, every Kiwi that's ever worn that jersey, mate, they'd be so wrapped with you boys. Well done. Feels good to walk away from Mount Smart Stadium seeing the Kiwis do the job in both the women's game and also the men's game, particularly which is the opening match of the Oceania Cup. And you saw it all live on Prime and right here on Sky Sport. We are done, folks. I trust you have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget, uh, the Sky Sport rugby league team are back at Mount Smart Stadium on Sunday. The Penrith Panthers come to town. Yes, the, the Cleary clan are in the house and the Warriors have got a lot of work to do, but it certainly does promise to be a very special Day. On behalf of the very, very hard-working Sky Sport team that have been here for the past two days, setting up and bringing you the great game, we want to say thank you. Hope you had a great day. The weekend continues on one place. We get all your live sport, the home of sport, and that is Sky Sport. <laughs>